Sit down. I celebrate each and every one of us for making out time to be in God's presence this afternoon. I've been away for some time. And like Jesus, we say it was good that I go. I'm a very conscious person when it comes to atmospheres. Very, very conscious. I don't listen to everybody. I don't listen to every preacher. Because I'm conscious with my source of information. When Adam fell and discovered alongside Eve that they were both naked the Bible said and God came in the cool of e the evening as his customers to fellowship with Adam and began to cry out Adam where are you now the question there is by the orchestration of the divine by the arrangement of the systems of the universe it is impossible, not even for a second, that God will go blind. So sometimes you begin to wonder, what happened? Is he not seeing Adam? Why was he still calling to Adam? Are we following? Now, two questions were asked. Number one, Adam, where are you? So it means God was not concerned about his physical location because he could see Adam. His interest was the spiritual location of Adam per time. Are we together? And secondly, Adam said, I'm naked so I hid. And God asked him the main question, who told you? A have you found out that all through that scripture God was not concerned about the sin? Because your mistake is not heavy enough to alter the program of the divine what i mean i'm not saying you should get pregnant but if you do he can use that to still achieve his will there is something about the divine that i wish everybody will comprehend that whatever you do or don't do can spoil his program are we together no because the one who knows the end from the beginning had finished it before it started that's why he said as it was in the beginning so shall it be at the end it means it comes to a point when you get to the ending and you are still seeing the beginning are you confused okay i'll try my best are we together so his concern was his source of what information who told you if god can be concerned about who a man is now listening to I have to be concerned about my source of information are we together I have to be concerned if God can be concerned for his creature are we following <laughs> you know the Bible says the words I speak to you they are spirit and they are life so when a man speaks to you he doesn't release just mere words impact to you a deposit of his spirit and a deposit of his grace are we together are we following the source of your information so i'm very conscious when it comes to information and who speaks to me and speak into my life and so god gave me a direction to embark on the journey i did and i didn't have a regret not even a second if i wish i'm still there but I had to return back as early as possible this morning for the meeting. But you see one wonderful thing. Let me share a testimony before I go into the message. While I was in the hotel room, where I went to is like a city, do a church. But it's a city. I think they have about eight blocks of hotels. Each of the hotels should be about 100 rooms. So the one I stayed was very close to the main auditorium. And I, I was disturbed yesterday night because this morning was the last minister's uh, session for the minister's conference. So I was disturbed. I haven't been blessed yesterday. I sat under a great woman of God called Dr. Pat Francis. I, I was sitting and hearing a woman preaching and my mouth was like this. Did she finished. I was shocked. What? You mean a kind of person is on this earth? 
very very shocked and so I, I was very touched when our papa said this morning will be the anointing he's going to proclaim a release and um, bless the ministers and I needed to meet up with this service I was disturbed so when I went back to the hotel room I said Lord please my spirit is in two places like Paul we say whether to depart to Mina which is a profit for the people or to stay right here and finish this session which is a gain for me and the session will finish by 2 in the afternoon today so there's no miracle I can perform to meet up with the service and say, I said okay Lord speak to me please I want to know your will on this matter so as I slept in the middle of the night had so many of encounters and an angel appeared to me and said son you can go so I woke up around past 5 that word woke me up you can go so I picked um, my bag arranged freshened up took my the sofa I just bought and I came out trekking everywhere was still dark so I looked for bike there was no bike so I said there's no problem I'm not really scared it's difficult to kill me the best I'll just disappear so you don't know attempt it just make an attempt one day that you want to stab me you find that I'm not there not every man is a human again some people are spirits are we together but you can try and find out and so while I was still trekking to see if I can locate a bike I heard the voice of God don't worry you'll be blessed this afternoon okay I'll give you the word in 15 minutes you have never heard it in your life now I heard God's voice said go back to the church and pray I did my devotion in my hotel room so God said go back into the church building and pray so most of the, the guys in the Bible school located very close distance from the hotel where I was located they wake up at interval it's like a Jewish setup so they wake up at interval to blow the shofar 1 a.m. 2 a.m. so they were blowing the shofar at 6 a.m. I was inside the church I knelt down I was praying I said Lord you said I should go and I don't want to miss this anointing I travel all distance to come here but however I am connecting to the grace in this place I did all the spiritual activity I want to tell you I can do on how to connect to certain realities so I said I will be going now but while there will be anointing people everybody present here the anointing drops on me too so I picked my chauffeur I told the security man at the gate I said they were wondering why I came back I said I have to go now while I go, was going I found that oil was dripping out of my chauffeur I held it I was surprised it's still dripping till now I was shocked <laughs> and you know I was very smart I made sure I rubbed it very well and anointed myself I said thank you I've got in my own anointing are we together so you see for your profit he had to permit me to come are we following we are in the season the someone has started i'm teaching about the glory above and the glory below we are in a very sensitive season in the church i, I wish everybody in this territory could be present in today's meeting but nonetheless we are in a very sensitive season in the church now the jews calendar says we have entered into a new year right around september 29 to october 1st which we call the rosh ashana is that not so two days ago was the feast of tabernacles now the rosh ashana is the new year for the jewish calendar we use the gregorian calendar which is the general calendar of the world the englishman calendar and the year for the jews is 5780 right that's 5780 years now are we following the jews have a belief based on the fact that god created man in six days after six days right and then gave man the lease of the earth are we following that man will manage the earth for that number of years so the jews believe that scripture says a day in god's sight is a thousand years so what god gave to man was six thousand years just follow me are we following and so if we are in 5780 what the jews believe is that this world will come to an end in the next 220 years are we together in the next what 220 years if you subtract 6000 from 5780 
But however, in preparation for his coming, they've been preparing about 350 years ago. Are we following? In fact, if you go to the Temple Institute in Jerusalem, you will see archives, documents, and activities being done 350 years ago in preparation for the coming of the Messiah. Are we following? And in this year, 5780, the Jews have this belief that it's a year where God is putting things into perspective for his coming. Are we together? God is what? Putting things into perspective for his coming. Am I taking you bigger than you can be here? Don't worry, today is not ABC, alright? Just follow me. I'll try my best for you to understand. If you can't understand, get the message and listen to it again. Are we together? So, they have that belief and mindset that God is putting things into what? Perspective. Bring the Holy Ghost one minute. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord. As we honor you, you are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. All right. So the belief that God is putting things into what perspective, and if you watch the trend in the earth. The trend in the body of Christ, you can understand that God is making things straight. Are we following? If I write in the conference, one of our father gave us a prophecy. He said, God said, by next year, beginning from this Jewish calendar, what he is doing is that he will be taking flocks from unworthy shepherds. <laughs> are, are we following? So he's straightening things. And while I was meditating on my journey coming, I don't have a sermon as I said, I don't have a book. I was just with my phone and I was trying to understand the mind of God. Lord, what do I even say to your people that you forced me to come? And he said to me, he said, tell them about my glory above and my glory below. I am putting things into what? Perspective. Bring them into a balance of the life of grace. So we've been hearing teaching of the grace life. This life that Jesus has brought to us. But however, we are not even living a quarter of the reality of that life. Give me Matthew chapter 4. Put it on the screen for me. The Bible says, and one time, follow me. I pray in the Holy Ghost one second. I want to go into something deep. And I want you not to miss me. In 10 minutes I'll be done. But you have to be smart. Are we together? In Jesus' name. Now, why am I going this way? While I was in the meeting in the hotel room, an angel appeared to me and said to me, Son, we are the realities I gave you. And I sat down. We are the gold dust. We are the angelic experiences. Bring back my glory. That's why I'm, I'm not going to teach something very small. Do we have pet? You guys for a long while we're going to deep things now so follow me are we together now in matthew chapter 4 verse 1 the bible says that jesus was driven into where the wilderness to be tempted of the devil he fasted 40 days and be tempted of the devil now the devil came in the first place and told him if you be the son of man turn these stones into bread now what the devil was trying to do was to take things out of perspective are we following was to make him lose his agenda his purpose for coming was to make him do things mixing up both his purposes and the purposes of others so he was telling him turn this stone to bread it means make the law look like what you came to fulfill are we together make the law look like the life of grace just paint it, paint it, let it look like it. I, I, I'm trying to bring the grace life into perspective and balance. 
are we following that's why when you read psalm 91 the bible says he will give you keep his angels charge over you to keep you what in all your ways so that you will not dash your foot against a stone now the devil told him throw yourself from the high mountain throw yourself down it means come back from the life of grace into this life of the law are we together and he said no because he was reminding him he will give the angels charge so one of the assignment of the angels is to prevent you from living the grace life into the life of the law you came from and follow me please don't lose me that's not even my sermon are we together why will jesus keep responding this way making him understand you can't what he was saying was something nice he needed bread at that point in time but you see the problem is you can't turn the stone to the bread it has to be the bread from the original so that, that's where the church is missing it mixing up things mixing up things are we following so the, the grace life is a glorious life but one of the most frustrated and dejected people on earth are the Christians so you begin to wonder what kind of life are we living because what we end up doing the kind of people we raise where stones we turn to bread instead of totally disannulling the stones and make a brand new bread so I am begging you you have to do this because of this not that something has totally changed and transformed do you understand are we following now pray in the holy ghost one minute i'll take you somewhere in jesus name so abaku 2 14 now said give me 13 abaku 2 13. god was marveled okay let's read it together he said is it not from the lord of us that the people labor only to fuel the fire and continually exhaust themselves for nothing did you see that give me verse 14 it says so for the knowledge of the glory of the lord shall cover the earth as the waters covers the sea the knowledge of the glory shall cover the heavens no the earth as the waters covers the sea so where am i driving into the grace life is not to operate glory above but also to operate glory below where you see christians becoming spiritually matured but earthly useless they become giants in the spirit but non-entities on the earth losing sense of relevance or influence in the stratas and the systems of cosmos no with this kind of life with this kind of grace life and yet you are not a sought after no he said why do they labor for nothing why do they exhaust themselves if this the life the grace life brought then it was useless give me Isaiah 55 verse 3 I round up tonight follow me now let's look at the problem Isaiah 55 verse 3 verse 3 55 verse 3 okay pay attention and come oh, oh, oh okay don't worry any version is okay for me incline your ear and come unto me yeah and your soul shall live yeah and your soul shall live what does it mean <laughs> what happened at salvation is the awakening of your spirit and then by the time you begin to fuel up such reality you begin to operate in fearful dimensions of the glory operating crazy realms of miracle signs and wonder but the problem is your soul is still not living now the bible is saying let your soul live what does it mean don't be spiritually sound and be totally useless upstairs there is a divine glory and there is a natural glory awaken your brain put your brain to work the 
body of Christ has taught that the Christian faith to be useless. Now, in parenting, you parent your children to operate in autonomy. Such that you can watch them and see them take choice, make choices and decisions themselves without your interference. That's how he did for even the first man. It is a form of learning disability if your child have to take an excuse for you to brush his teeth. Use your brain. Use your brain. Why? You were born to be created to create. The Bible says we are created. Genesis 1:28. In what? In the image of God. Learn to create. Take decisions yourself. That's what he wants. Awaken your natural glory. Feed your mind to be productive. You can be firing tongues and nothing useful is coming out of your head. What the Bible means by saying in Proverbs 3 verse 5, acknowledge me in all my way, your ways. It means put me in consideration. Commit it to me. He didn't say you must wait for me all the time to hear a voice. There are decisions I take myself. Why? Philippians 2.13 He walketh in me both to do and to will of his good pleasure. Tell your neighbor, use your brain. You are not a robot. That's the problem. Everything. Lord, I, I want to hear a voice. Do you hear a voice to go to the toilet? Why? An organization a fashioning a configuration in your system tells you that's where you need to visit now don't wait for a voice are we together why he made you in his image you see something you don't like take a decision to change it you can't be waiting for god for everything he packaged you and made you first what in his image Awaken. That's what we call the natural glory that helps you reign on earth. Now hear me, I'll say something shocking to you. Eternally, you are beautiful. Eternally, you are glorious. Eternally, yeah, yeah. Eternally, you are God. Are we together? Are we following? Inform your mind. Exploit that image. Exploit that deposit in the inside of you. Are we following? Hear me. Do you know? <laughs> without being a Christian, you can be excellent. You can be extremely successful. Why? You don't need to be a Christian to be successful. That's why we receive the brilliance of the gates. He said, I will put computers everywhere, every room, every offices. He did that. Later, he came and said, I will put it in every pocket. Yeah, it is. Your answer. He said, I will change the world. He has done that. Yet, he's not a Christian. But hear me. Why do we receive the computer? That begate is created in the image of God. So what he has done is to have awakened his natural glory, but not the divine glory. So he might not make heaven. But he's ex exhibiting excellence on earth. He's producing fruit. Now let me show you some. That's why even God said in Genesis 11 verse 8. That this human I created in my image. Though sinful. Though not having a relationship with me. Anything they imagine to do. They will do it. Without my efforts. Without my input. Once they make up their mind to exploit. Their intelligence. To exploit that configuration of my image in the inside of them he said they will do it do you know man still did it are people not flying to the moon now they say it's not genesis you want to stop us we'll make attempt but you see believers see you can command dominions on the heavens and be useless on the earth and our assignment is not just to operate in our divine glory of miracles signs and wonders but also to unlock our natural glory for the glory of the lord shall be revealed where on the earth on the earth tell your neighbor learn to create learn to use your brain 
learn to think learn to take decisions that's parenting no no father wants sees our child to be an imbecile are we together where the place of the voice of god comes is in moments of confusion and moments when that thing we alter his will that's why he said watch if i am directing you it means you are already taking a step are we together that's where his voice come okay give me my scripture isaiah 55 verse 3 let me finish it so he said give me quickly quickly time is against me incline your ear and come unto me here and your soul shall live and i will make thee make an everlasting covenant with thee even the sure mercy of david it means when he creates you he leads you because you have been made in his image to take decisions for your own to make choices and he watch from the rear knowing fully well that there is something called the sure message of David so even at the fall of man is it Genesis friend the Holy Ghost Genesis okay thank you thank you Genesis 3 I think 21 the first action of God at the fall of man was a redemptive plan Adam till date never asked God for clothes neither did he ask God for mercy that's why any man born that's what we call the Adamic nature is born with the configuration to love sin it was by his act of redemption even in that fallen state because of the sure mercies of David to preserve him the Bible says with the coat of his skin he never killed an animal the word skin there from the original Greek word is the word light it means even in folly state he still wrapped this man with a glory have you seen if you see to your bible i give you hundred thousand today and he say he used animal skin any version of your choice i give you hundred thousand right now you know some of you what you crammed is your book of bible story you know 50 years ago you don't do anything <laughs> one of my son asked me a question some few days and i was angry i said my friend go and labor in the world you you think i just stand here and say anything labor Are we together he wrapped him in light in glory he secured that man so that if you are scared and say ah what if you say we must not always wait to hear his voice to take a decision to make a choice that's not how he created you to function are we together awaken your natural glory so if you are scared of the mistake there is the sure message of david that's why sometimes people wonder the way I live with my children. I know some people say you are not strict, you don't fully do this one, you don't do that. Why? Now hear me and hear me clearly. I heard the voice of God some days back. He said, Son, you can never get a greater reputation than me. I'm not scared if tomorrow they say one person is pregnant from grace after we finished a hundred hours of prayer. It doesn't mean I failed. The same people he came to die for were the same people that killed him. He had 12 disciples. He was surprised that one took the decision to betray him. The same creature he made, he saw the same creature listening to the voice of the devil. He was shocked. And I want to have a better reputation than him. You don't know that good attracts evil. Where there is wit, there must be a tears. Because evil cannot, if you take good away from this world, that's the end of evil. It operates in self destruct What makes evil survive is the presence of good scared the sure message of David feed your mind to become productive that it can give you economic value some, some of you are funny you are funny how will you stay and you are praying for seven days for financial breakthrough and when you are done with the seven days you sat down waiting for a voice something's wrong with you it's your brain are we together and that's why i told you in scripture everything the disciples did they never had voices just in real occasions they took the decisions themselves why they are created in the image of god how do i know the bible said at one time paul and barnabas were about to enter into a city to preach the gospel and the holy spirit forbid them to go there if they have asked him before he wouldn't have told them to go there 
the sure mercies of David to preserve us. Rise up to your feet. Let me run. On to Jesus I surrender On to Him I freely I will ever know and trust Him in His presence Now hear me, hear me. Believers, you have to wake up. That's my current message for the body of Christ. We are raising a strange breed that is unfamiliar to the heavens. This is not how God operates. This is not how he operates. A strange breed on the earth. People with fearful dimensions of the work of the Holy Ghost yet becoming useless on the earth. You mean with all your tongue you can't produce a value that will attract money naturally till money becomes a prayer point see it's not pain type that makes you wealthy it's not <laughs> it's not sowing seed that makes you wealthy they have their own levels of blessing attached to them it's being productive with your mind being productive sit down to think activate your brain read a lot think smart think wise you are made in his image take decisions i remember when we came to the um, campus one of my son was asking me he said papa i think we now begin to after we finish the section of the prayers he said i think we are now supposed to start praying to know when the day of the meeting will be is there something wrong with you am i a robot am i blind or deaf to hear or see that this is an academic environment and lecture is monday to friday so I should want to hold it morning breakfast service Monday morning because you heard a voice stop behaving like you something's wrong awaken your natural glory you were created in what is image and one thing about your father is a creator he creates you know when we begin to have this now in the body of Christ this balance then we will see the true grace life Christians coming with innovation that's the problem of Africa the dark continent absence of revelation and that's why people insult religion and tell you religion is a scam because all we do is to raise believers that only concern themselves about the glory above what of the glory below are we together and so we see the people of the world coming up with strange innovations strange innovations witty inventions and here we are doing nothing speaking tongues <laughs> you see as much as I believe in paying prizes are we following are we together the sum total of Christianity is at the end point to bring man to a point of ease convenience and freedom one of my daughters sent the post one time the reason why the white man makes inventions is because they want things to be easier for people is that not so they want things to be easier for you but the black man wants things to be difficult that's the way <laughs> you see the way you think the brain something's wrong so they can't create they can't invent because they believe that this must keep getting difficult it's a crime if you come to class and sit down and something just talks to the board in 10 minutes the lecture is not happy so you see an Aki student now what his mate finished in 1979 to be drawing with pencil in F future at 500 level 2019 he's still drawing with pencil and his mate will hold a laptop and in 10 minutes they have designed a complicity the way we think the way we think it's a problem it's a problem <laughs> even the way we think about money is a problem see with spiritual my problem what i came to correct is spiritualizing everything even to dress well is a challenge for the body of christ to dress well he said no see 
the missionaries were very sound guys are we following they brought us the gospel they taught us the ways of god and they also taught us a beggarly life because they knew how to beg for food that's the problem why the body of christ is here to embrace wealth the missionaries they don't do anything they just look for funds abroad please help us we are in the field so as they gave you the gospel they also taught you that life so somebody feels i told you some of you will not cope in heaven you'll be angry when they say take your mansion you say no 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 this waste it lord why 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 will you give only me such a thing it's wastage it's wastage one time one of my daughter called me and said she a pastor was preaching in a home cell and told them quote a scripture where jesus said i became poor so that you might become rich and she was confused you see your confusion is because you are too spiritual and you are totally useless with the image itself when they say you see what helped me now was not an inspiration it was normal english language and sound reasoning sound what reasoning when they say you became poor what does it mean you were formerly what rich something is wrong with you and you did that for a purpose so that this man can now become what rich. is it difficult to understand poor reasoning africans begin to inform your mind inform your mind so a christian feels this wrong to be wealthy now see the problem strong a man that will concern himself to make the road of a street gold and you are angry that let's not wear some expensive things you know i've told you that they were sharing jesus's clothes at his death your clothes now can they share it when you die your i mean your clothes and if you think it was because they knew he was very anointed read your bible the guys sharing the clothes were the guys that killed him it has nothing to do with honor or anointing they were mocking him on that same cross and dragging for his clothes so it wasn't man too they wanted to make good money from it somebody said god or jesus did not own any house it's an insult for jesus to be placed on a kind of value that you can amass it's an insult to even say such a thing who owns the world crazy so you want him to now say jesus own 10 estates with you so you you now be dragging with jesus now and say what is his net worth you want to write it to something is wrong africa the dark continent they lack illumination that's what i'm going to do for the next one year illume the mind as a man think it in his heart so he's even God knew that the way your mind is framed is how your life will turn out to be. Awake in your natural glory. Are we together? Every day you walk, look at yourself and say, I am created in the image of God. I make decisions like him. That's why he brought the animals for Adam and said, name them. And the Bible said, whatever name he called them, so the, the name thereof was. Holy Ghost, I, I need to do this and do this. Thank you for leading me. I take the decision. The sure mercy of David preserves me in a way. If that decision is not his way, he stops me. He directs my path and says, Son, no. Are we together? Are we following? Read a lot. Be creative in your thinking. The way you do your things. See, any day you wake up, just look at yourself and create a perspective of God in the front of you. Your life will be changing over time. Create it. No man on this earth is qualified enough to be your standard. At best, they just lead you or guide you. The role model and the perfect model remain Jesus. Look at him in the aspect of dressing, in the aspect of wealth, whatever it is. Look at him. Just imagine if Jesus was alive today. What kind of car will he ride? Some people say he will be trekking from Capernaum to Galilee. Something is wrong with you. Poverty will be difficult to live your bloodline. I'm serious. 
it will be difficult <laughs> it will be difficult the donkey was the most expensive means of transportation in Jesus' days go and research the most expensive at the point he saw men putting their clothes on the ground for the donkey to march he didn't stop them even when others were stopping them he was angry say let's celebrate the man of God people begin to clap you say hmm you see it is God of men not man of God your village people is attacking your brain your village people is at work in your life it's a problem in Africa it's a problem the way we think and reason is keeping Africa in a cage you know why it's boiling me on every broadcast especially people that want to teach wealth and prosperity now i still agree that the problem in this prosperity gospel is there's an overemphasis on that it's too much it's not our sermon are we following we teach them the way of life and naturally it makes them prosper but to make prosperity a topic per service i don't believe in that it's too much jesus never made it a topic are we together but you see, you own any of those brokers and what the men of God use and the people of the world. He said, Check Africa. They have the largest number of churches in the world. They pray more than everybody and do vigils everywhere. And yet, they are the poorest on the earth. Why? They are waking. And do you know, still date, Africa, to an extent, is one of the nations that produce the highest dimension of heavenly glory. When it comes to raw miracles, dimensions, operations of the spirit, Africa is top. Even Nigeria is among them. But when it comes to the oppression of the natural glory on the earth, excellence, creativity, innovation, it's nothing, nothing to write home about. What's the topic again? The glory above and the glory below. For the knowledge of the glory shall cover the earth as the waters covers the sea. People, by the way you live your life, will begin to see what God looks like represent him no part of your life will bring him a shame or reproach is it in excellence is it in your innovation is it in your thinking in your creativity in the way you speak the bible says when jesus spoke jesus he spoke as one that had authority to the point that they sent two soldiers to go catch him are we together to go catch him and they sat down hmm drop their gun and listen to the whole preaching and when they went back they say where is the guy we say you should go and catch they say hmm never in our life as a man spoke like this and you are talking and people are feeling bored and sleeping what's your problem and you say it's because they cannot take the word something's wrong with you improve yourself improve your skill lift up your hands we'll continue part two some other time I'm going to preach this for the next one here in different form the grace life we are going right now into the real mandate of the ministry to raise people that will operate in stratas of the earth the real mandate that's all my sermon will be surrounded around the grace realm the realms of grace all the sermon prayer will teach it in that light bringing balance and priority bringing right perspective to the body of christ and god will begin to raise a people for himself that will take over the systems of the world revelation 11 15 says and the kingdoms of the world shall become the kingdom of our God and of his Christ the kingdoms of the world it won't just come by prayer and fasting no but by we also operate in our natural glory our natural glory now hear me listen I've convinced you enough by the way of the word not by my opinion or decision or thought but by the way of the word that a man might not have a relationship with God and be very successful if he touches more what his natural glory most of the guys shaking the nations of the world the benzos are atheists they are atheists free thinkers they think to a point it unlocked the scrolls of their system and we make use of what they invented now why didn't you say you won't because it's not a Christian though he is not a christian but he was still created in the image not he was not created looking like the devil 
he was created looking like the one that creates me so if he touch that part of him you will see him playing around creativities of the earth. however he will not have his salvation in heaven that's the problem i pray for you today may the lord walk upon your minds may the word lord walk upon your mind from today i've told you listen the introduction of sin into the earth was not from adam and eve <laughs> the introduction of sin into the earth never came from adam and eve The introduction of sin into the earth never came from the devil he was not the origin if he sinned then where did that sin came from say he committed something that was wrong where did it come from because the bible says, and something entered his heart where was it coming from where was the source you see to be qualified to be called god is such that you must make your subject to accept you willingly and not operate like robots so by the ordinance of that organization and system god had to create a special thing called choice that's the origin of sin choice such that the man can decide to choose to serve him or not if they were forced to serve him he's not qualified to be called god so even when he wanted to create the second earth where he brought adam and eve into the picture he still gave them a garden to decide by themselves to choose that's why i raise children and i leave them to operate knowing fully well that the sure message of david secures them has it worked for me 100 percent not true that's why i showed you jesus his own too <laughs> if you think i don't pray enough jesus prayed enough he still had one wrong inside them you can't beat the reputation of God. But all I know is that I can't give up on them. Are we following? The constant and the summary of Christianity is redemption. So even in their faults, even their mistakes, I am afterwards their redemption. I'm going out to see a way to bring them to stand strong again. That's the way my father operates. Because we are beginning to operate in a form of what we call control in the body of christ that's why people are speaking against all this fatherhood and this the rest of this nonsense control or free the sheep we're, we're operating that because we are scared that if we don't allow them to operate their free will they will not do the things we want to, uh, them to do but it's wrong it is anti-god anti-christianity anti-kingdom are we together it's wrong A child should have the freedom to express his own decisions to the father. That's parenthood. Allow them to be autonomous. That's how God operates. Have you not wondered why you have been crying for something? You want to hear a voice now, seven years, and you are like this. Your trouser will still be like this. Wait for the voice. Don't worry, wait. If you like it, take the decision. Are we together? Take what? The decision. And if it's not his will, he directs your path. Stop behaving like a robot. It's your prayer. Like I said, will it be nice for your child to wake up every morning and take a permission to brush his teeth? Say, mommy, please, can I brush my teeth? What will you land him? A very dirty slab. Because that's learning disability. Something is wrong upstairs. Is that not so? something is wrong upstairs one of my child now will call me because they are so close to me like my daughter is so close to me and she now call me and say papa please i want to take excuse can i go to the toilet now stay don't worry stay don't be everything in the dead person stay stay don't worry stay lift up your hands and thank you our father for the night Thank you for your awesome praise. Thank you for everything. From the bowels of our hearts, we are grateful. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. 
For the things our eyes could not see, we are grateful. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lift up your hands. Let me pray for us. I, I pray for you. Just leave her. Leave her. Just leave her. May God give you a reason to celebrate. I decree and I declare under God. May God give you a reason from now till the end of the year to give him thanks. May you always have reasons to give God thanks. I prophesy, may you always have reasons to give God thanks. In the name of Jesus, I decree reign of good news for you. I prophesy reign of good news, undeniable joy. Undeniable joy, undeniable joy, undeniable joy, undeniable joy in the name of Jesus. God's presence is tangible in this place. Some minutes before I, I came on, one of the photographic crew came to me. And was showing me pictures that Papa, we are capturing angels already. His presence is mind. You don't need to feel goosebumps. You don't need to shake. But his presence is in this place. I told us last week, God said to me, Restore back the supernatural. That's the introduction of grace and ministry to this land. And at the point I had to suspend it because I feel. There was a need for some basic foundation. But God said to me, son, restore it back again. And so in all of our services, we we'll begin to have such kind of encounters. Angelic presence, supernatural gold, oil, everything. We we'll begin to have those kind of experiences again. So to come hungry, stay sensitive and stay alert to the movement of the spirit imagine capturing angel right where you are and you don't even know they are there are we together as i round up the service i ask all of you to lift up your cameras and take pictures around and you'll be shocked what you see on your phones are we together just to show you the atmosphere you are inside are we following are we together? I want to take this medium to celebrate each and every one of the FYB for being present among the people that could say, God, I am grateful. So sit among them because it's my joy as a father that I'm sending them for. This is the largest FYB set in the history of Grisha Ministry. This is the third set of FYB. That we are sending forth. It's my custom for those that are used to me after sending them forth. That's why I don't joke with a meeting like this. I fast for them for 40 days. 
You know, the Bible says that we should produce fruits and fruits that may abound. I don't like to see people struggle. So I take the pain to wait on God for each and every one of them. Arranging their destiny path. Praying for them that life be sweet for them. And God has been faithful. This is the third set. We have so many of our people. We have one of my daughter in Germany. About seven of our sons are in China. We have one yet now, I think from Ephesus. God has been faithful. Are we together? God has been what? Faithful. And I'm grateful to God for this wonderful. Please celebrate them for me. Celebrate them. You know, one thing I always pray for them is not to struggle for what to do after school. The Bible says there is a danger that delay can cause that even God himself knows. So he said in his word that hope deferred makes the heart sick. Are we together? Hope deferred makes the heart what? Sick. I am praying for each and every one of you. And for those that came to celebrate with them that also find I hear brethren, may you not struggle for what to do. I pray and I prophesy that you will not struggle you will not know what is called delay a second in the name of Jesus Christ you see the joy I have is the nature of testimonies I heard from them the fact that they didn't do church while in school they just had a nice time attend um, meetings and no but the transformations in their life because that's the gift I am giving that they go with that anywhere they stand, even in my absence, they can still survive. The last statement I always tell the people, which I'll still do tonight, after finishing my prayers and prophesying over them, is go and survive. Are we together? If from all you have learned, all you have observed about my life by yourself, you still fail, then something is wrong somewhere. So what it means is that you are implicated to fail. Are we together? You have no option but to succeed. Are we following? We've had most of them for the past two set working right now, doing great things. Some are even married. I think I, I, I couldn't attend a wedding. One married us, um, last two months. Another will be marrying by December. What date is that? 14th, right? 14th. See, I'm a grandfather. Don't mind the white beards. Is that okay? Don't worry. But I feel fulfilled. And I feel happy. That in one statement, whether by few or by many, I will present God a kingdom. That's my pain. And that's my joy. And that's my daily drive. Whether by few or by many, I will carve a kingdom for him on the earth. Are we together? So some of them, immediately after they are done with school, had something to do straight away. Some had a little, little delay of months. But you see, the good thing about it is the things they've heard makes them think differently and reason differently from others. Are we together? Such that sometimes they call me themselves to tell me, Papa, relax. Oh, it's just a question of time. Things will be fine. You see, I'm happy because I am confident that none of them are going to do yahoo yahoo when the issues of life batter on them. Sometimes people leave this kind of environment and forget their scriptures when they see real life. Now I told you the blows of life are not for physical fitness. They are to weigh your spirit and check your inner capacity and stamina. So sometimes when life begins to batter you left and right, then the reality of light, life the truth about the scriptures you know is tested they begin to come alive are we following so what you want is what keeps you in that season I pray. I pray for you that as you go out there will be a distinction in your life
in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, the word in 15 minutes I want to be done. We started a series last week and I taught on the glory above. How many of us are around? And the glory below. And we just came out from a hundred hours of prayers. Finished around um, 10 a.m. this morning. Since Sunday, we've been indoors praying. And um, I, I try to still continue in that light all through the four days we are locked indoors. Teaching on that, teaching on that, teaching on that, teaching on that. Just to make sure we get the perfect revelation of the divine. So because of time, I will just do a scripture. Is that okay by you? But don't worry, we'll still have time. I'm planning on organizing a three-day workshop for the FYBs alone. But let's just do a scripture so I can stay to time. Is that okay? Second Peter, quickly. The Kai glory was your topic. There is nothing difficult about that. You know why we'll have to him is not in a cliche in a sense. Are we following? For instance, when you look at the word love in scripture, it's just one statement in English language. But it differs in the original word translation of the Bible. Are we together? If not, if you don't sometimes do this, you'll be confused. So you see a scripture telling you, for God so love the word. Then you go to 1 John 2.16, it now tells you, is it 2.16 or so? Do not love the word. Then you are confused. Same God that is telling you not to love the word, is also loving the word. So understanding the exact words from the original context used for that word love makes you really know what it's talking about so we have the agape we have the philadelphia we have the the filio we have the and the rest of them so when you now understand that this is what it means because translating it to english language there is nothing like saying filio love we just name them as what love the same thing you see a word in scripture power everywhere they use power power act one eight so when the holy ghost comes upon you you shall receive what power now the greek word there is what dunamis which simply means what inherent or let me give you a very understandable point domand power i didn't say dominion i said what domand are we following then you go to john 1 verse 12 he said to us men that receive him gave he power to become the word power there is the word esousia you see it's different now it means the power of what placement the power of what advantage the power from relationship i like giving my children this example when we voted in 2015 and 2019 we didn't vote aisha buari we voted the husband but because of placement advantage who you are now connected to she also carries into special office has a special aid and receive the same honor just like what the husband do we understand that now then you go to the scripture the bible says the word of god is the power unto what salvation now the word power there kratos it means a might that comes upon you by a revelation when you know something it gives you a density of what empowerment you can see what we're talking about because sometimes people say ah they like to use some kind of why will you say kaye just say glory i'm making you get the understanding because some of the problem in the body of christ is childishness unnecessary childishness are we together and i'm too much of immaturity so when we go again to james chapter 5 verse 13 14 he said that effectual and fervent continued heartfelt prayer of the righteous man make it tremendous power what available the word power there is the word is cause it means generated power how many of you rode a bicycle you were privileged when you were small to ride a bicycle just wave give me a waiver huh? now good when you look at the bicycle at the back tire there is what we call a dynamo right attached to the tire which is your dynamis resident power that's why even when the holy ghost come upon you you can't still perform any miracle you can't still do anything much right so when you pedal which is east course you are turning the dam what happens to the bulb it powers on that's why i say it makes the power you have dunamis available uh, do we understand what i'm saying uh -huh. so when we talk about Kari, kail glory kail glory deals mainly with what your natural glory because the body of christ has raised a set of believer 
that has spiritualized everything. Everything. Thank God for the play that we watch now. I was sharing to some, with some of my children during the prayer how I make money, how I make wealth. There is nothing difficult about that. Because I understand what the Kail glory that there is a place for God and there is a place for man. He won't do everything for me. Why? He made me in his image. Are we together? He made me in his image. Every organ in my system, every part of my body has a function to play. If they were not necessary, he won't give me. Are we together? If they were not necessary, he won't what? Give me. Give me a second. Peter 2. 1. 1 rather from verse 3. And just keep it there. I run quickly through the scriptures. Are we together? So we must make to understand that we are tripartites in nature. A spirit, a soul, and what? A body. Are we together? If you feed your spirit, it grows, it develops. If you feed your soul, you begin to reason well. You think well. Your intellectual wit is expanded. If you take care of your body, you look nice and healthy. That's why even at times, Mark 6, 31, Jesus told his disciples, you have to go and rest. You've been walking all through the morning. Take a nap. Rest. Our concentration in the body of Christ is all about the glory. The smoke all around. That's why only the church is truly seeing the glory of the Lord cover the earth as the waters what cover the sea. The glory that even God is expecting to be seen on the earth is even coming from those that have no relationship with him. And we receive their brilliance. We receive their inventions because they are created. Is your phone not solving a problem for you? Who made the phone? Who brought that to be? Atheist. Why do you receive it? Because that same man, though he doesn't know Jesus, he's created in what? His image. That's where the church is missing it. You throw your brains away. You don't inform your mind. I asked a simple question. What are you studying? Architect. Come. The Holy Ghost said, the Bible said rather, John chapter 14, that when the Holy Ghost come, right, he will teach you all things you need to know and even the things you forget he will bring them to what remembrance i expect that by your understanding of that scripture you should be in the house and say she got done fair take a ten. architecture be released after all the bible says in first john 2 20 we have an unction from the holy ghost to know all things sit at home sit at home are we together are you getting it clear now? That's where the church is missing it. So we are not impacting and influencing our world. They are not seeing any productivity, any inspiration coming from us. The first proof, see, that of the Holy Ghost in a man is for creativity. The first appearance of the Holy Ghost in scripture is for creation. The Bible says, and the Holy Ghost brood and create what take place. So it's not to be saying oh, all over me, it's moving me around. Sit down one place. It should move strange ideas from your brain out. It should move strange inspiration out of you. That's why Christianity is becoming a mockery for our generation. Everywhere you go online, they say religion is a scam. Because you are told that you don't need to do anything. You just sit down in your place of prayer like this young man said. He has touched two of the rivers. I have to go and search that truth. How many rivers there are? You know, I don't joke with truth like that. I'm a throne room person. I need to go find. I've been there many times, but I didn't count. So this time around, I will take more careful look at this to be sure that the rivers are as many as he said. So the ones I have not entered too, I can put my leg in them. Are we together? Beyond the coating of scriptures, what else do you know? If I ask you to shut your Bible now, and say impact this young man in two months let him stay with you what impact will he see from you or receive from you if god comes and say nobody should pray nobody should preach nobody should teach the word or spread anything about the word 
win over this word for me through what means will you use it's a question I ask you the glory above and the glory below second Peter I want to read from the amplifier can you give me on the screen if you have your amplified um, scripture please let's go there second Peter chapter 1 Ebenezer, Ebenezer, ay 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 that means there are things necessary for in life. There are things also necessary for amounting to heights in God. The problem of the Christian folk is that we concentrate on godliness and so we are cheated in life. You speak so much of tongues but you are struggling to feed. It is life, brother. And what? Godliness. And the Bible tells us that what we do most of the times in the Christian faith is to concentrate on the word godliness. How do I know? First Timothy 4 7. He said, But rather exercise what godliness. So as you engage in spiritual exercise, what are you doing? You are bringing out what godliness. What about life? Okay, let's read on. Through the full personal knowledge of Him who called us by and to His own glory and excellence. Number four, by means of these things, He has bestowed on us His precious and exceedingly great promises so that through them you may escape by flight from the moral decay rottenness and corruption that is in the world because of covetousness and become sharers of the divine nature verse 5 is my emphasis now you can write for this very reason for this very reason now I'm teaching how to awaken your Kail glory God make you to look like him how do you bring that image into what reality on earth how do you get to a point you begin to produce result like he does you begin to think like him you begin to act like there are sometimes I pray Lord I want to know what to do he tells me use your brain I told us last week when parenting it is of necessity that you parent your child in a way that they can confidently take decisions themselves how will you feel your child of 10 years 20 years is coming to tell you daddy please can i brush my teeth is that not an imbecile why you expect certain things like that he should use what his brain the kahir glory that's where the word is cheating the body of christ and so the glory of the Lord is not seen upon the earth like the waters are covering the sea. Remember Isaiah chapter 11, Revelation 11 verse 15? It's unto the kingdoms of this world become what? The kingdom of our God. So we want to see believers taking over the technological scene. Not tongues alone. Are we following? Not just spending hours in prayer. I do that. But believers taking over every system of the world. And how will they do that? If they take the pain to awaken their career glory he said for this very reason that you have been given everything that pertains to what life and godliness now he's about to tell you how to bring it out of you adding your diligence to this divine word promises work hard there is a place for praying there is a place for getting to work I work very very hard is it your Bible that you should add to what he just said? What because of these things he has told you that I have kept something you no wonder. Second um, Corinthians Holy Ghost 4 verse 7 said, But we have this treasure buried in earthen vessel. He's telling you what to do to what bring it out. That's why I get angry when some people I do certain things, maybe the way I do my things, and someone says, Papa, <laughs> Papa, it's because you are graced you are disgraced you are disgraced i work very hard to do something says because i'm graced that's how they give back to me challenge yourself as much as we say avoid being in competition or comparison 
you have to take challenge. Because I won't compare myself with anybody. I won't compare my friend. Take challenge. It's an imbalanced statement. Take challenge. Are we together? Employ every effort in exercising your faith to develop what? Virtue. What is virtue? Excellence. Excellence. Top notch quality. The way you do your things should change. The way you talk should change. The way you think should change. Everything about you should carry what? A touch of what? Excellence. He said you should add it to the promise he has released upon you. Are you still holding your Bible? What's the first thing you are adding? Diligence. Work hard. Laziness is a, is a total and the scriptural attitude. God hates laziness with passion including in the following of him Hebrews 11 6 he said he that cometh to me without faith it is impossible to please God for he that cometh to me must believe that I am and I am a rewarder of those that what diligently seek me diligently so Holy Ghost I really wish to pray to a fast but you know how you made me really you push yourself to do it are we together are we following and in exercising virtue, develop what intelligence. You see, I will stop tonight. Develop what intelligence. Improve your mind. You want to be a financial giant? Study about finances. Improve your financial intelligence. That's what scripture says. It's not just by sowing seed and praying alone. I do that. But I improve my financial intelligence. Hear me. What the Bible says in Deuteronomy 8.18 is that he's going to give you the power to what? Make wealth. But you need the wisdom to exploit the power. Are we together? You need the wisdom to what? Exploit the power. Improve your mind. Study a lot. Some of you read nothing. 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 And so your thinking and your reasoning is shallow. That's why you must always say you have not heard the voice of God to do anything. You can't take sound decision. Read through the book of Proverbs. You hear the scripture say, my son, have discretion. He didn't say pray for me that you should know how to discreet. Have discretion. Have sound wisdom. I, I feel sometimes... When I take certain decisions, God is at the corner feeling very impressed. When I miss, he says, oh, gotcha, he missed this one. When I get it, I say, oops, I'm happy. You are thinking now. He brought, the Bible says he brought the animals to Adam and asked, them to, asked him to what? Name them. So when Adam said, this one is lion, he laughed. He said, oh, wow, that's good. He saw one. He said, this one is hippopotamus. God laughed. How did you call that kind of name, Adam? He was happy that his creation can continue creation like him. Can think and reason like he does. Tell your neighbor you have a brain. Develop your mind. That's what the Bible is telling you. Develop your mind. Develop your mind. Attend trainings, attend semin seminars. School your mind. I was telling some of my children just on finances I've read over 2,000 financial books over 2,000 I, I told them as fast as I can count I remember till date I should have read over 9,000 books till date as far as I can recall that's lower than the normal value but the least I can call and some of you just one book you have cleaned the name because everywhere you go you hold it's not your wallet everywhere put your money inside everything one book now hear me what will deceive you is expecting that one supernatural strength will come from above and shake your body and then open the pages of the book in your front and begin to flip them into your mind you will do that yourself that's what actually separates men into categories if you do today what others will not do you will get tomorrow what others will not get. 
inform your mind. There are so many, so many things in the scripture. Go back and read them through. I want to stop the service now. Inform your mind. Read a lot. So if you know nothing, how will you say you are entering the relationship? You have not read anything about relationship. If you need just to be an architect, spend how many years in school? Five years. And you want to enter into something that is eternal. Eternity. And you don't know anything about it. Something is wrong with you. You're joking. You're joking. So, you know, we spiritualize everything. I was telling them how one of my daughter met me one time and said, Papa, I want to write a book. And I said, what's the book? What's the title of the book? I got very, I'm very impressed. At least you give back to your kind. Say the book is on um, how to manage relationship. I said, do you have a boyfriend? Say no. I said, don't worry, relax. When you have one, you start writing. Because they just feel that they, there's one thing that the Holy Ghost does with your mind. Then you start writing on something you have not experienced. Something you know nothing about. Are we together? Awaken what? Your glory. I've told you the protocol of the spirit is that you take steps yourself. Why? He walketh in us both to will and to do. Where God comes to play is when you are missing it and when you are getting it wrong. Take steps. Take steps. Sound decisions. Don't lock yourself in the place of prayer and keep praying. When you are done, get out. And go do something with your life. The Bible says, Paul planted. Apollo watered it. The job of God is to give increase understand christianity this is why people are mocking us are we together mocking us say you should bring rabina and miss with olive oil every morning just be anointing yourself that's how people will locate you what rubbish is that rabina is the blood the olive oil is the anointing what's your problem why are you behaving like something is wrong that's why we have so many people duping people everywhere duping people how will a pastor come and tell you to take the tour that like is trying to perform and you drank? Are you a goat with your level of education? You know what is called the tour. You see how we are feeling as Christians, right? You see on a group chat 20,000, we give you 40,000 in 35 minutes. Even if you pay your tithe, your windows will not open that car fast. And you carried your money. If something is not wrong with you, you don't think. You see the kind of believers we raised. Why? Papa prophesied in the last service. May a miracle you cannot understand happen to you. And so when I made the prophecy, I told you to suspend your brain. I told you that you should suspend your brain. I shared the story last two years. The last day, one of my son, he just rushed to the office and said, Papa, please, he needs an extra. Is it 50,000? I don't know. I said, For what? He said, God has done it. I prophesied a service before. That can you imagine? A man just called him and said, David, I just felt like helping you. He said, Who are you? Ah, is that your brother? He doesn't know anybody from Adam. You see how we suspend the brain? So I just want to help you. And there's this job opening in NSCDC. We are changing people. So I just decided that I should change your story and slot your name. Yeah, but you know, I need so social amount to move your file very fast. You sent money without your document. There is no problem. And after like five to ten minutes, he sent you a code and said, This is now your job code. This is your rank. So we need another social amount to print your your you know ID card and the rest of them. And he was running to my office to share testimony. When I looked at him like this. No, wait. Let's assume I prophesied that a miracle you can't explain happened. The easiest miracle could be somebody you least expect recommended you there. It could be as worse as you didn't even submit application yet they call you. But say before they give you a job, they ask for your result and to, to document it. How are they giving you job code and title without any documentation from you? You suspended your brain. You suspended your brain. We don't think it's not. See, there are some things you see people are saying. I want to pray to know that it is God. Something is wrong with you. I feel sometimes God is even angry looking at some of us because we are not behaving like Him. We are not thinking. Tell your neighbor, resurrect your Kyle glory. He gave you that body. Think like Him. Act like Him. Reason like Him. 
inform your mind and he told you that you should develop it are we following he said develop what intelligence develop it develop it he won't do it for you develop it rise up to your feet I'll have shared some things to us but maybe during the workshop I'm going to share that with the FIB 40 things life has taught me thus far but I can't do that today I can't because of the exam spirit so maybe next week when we have our workshop on an agreed date where I know it's just me and the FIB I'll share that to us certain deep things I've learned in life that can help you to cheat the current situation on the earth right? but in a nutshell Rexorate your career glory, your natural glory. Rexorate it. You are a trap at that pain. Please understand that. You don't bait, you don't eat well. I abused my body to a point I paid dearly for it. I paid dearly. I fasted my life out. There was a year, some of my children were here. I fasted, I finished 90 days stretch. In less than one week, I went on 60 stretch. I was looking for a God that was surprised at me. Till I found myself on a surgery bed. Life gushing out of me. Spilling out blood. And I was crying, oh God! I was looking and panting after you. And he replied, do, do, yeah? use your brain. Even me said, to everything there is a time and a season. A time to fast and a time to eat. Are we together? The first thing God gave man in Genesis is what? Food. It's everything you see is that it's just a chop, they go. But you see this one, where they center, may not touch it. means sometimes you don't fast. So your life will be fast. You understand? But after you are done with the fasting, don't feel offended. Eat. Are we together? The Kail glory. I'm seeing people frustrated. I came to a service and I prophesied for you. May money come for you. And I, you saw post of scholarships and you did not apply. Is something not wrong with you? Are you see the problem in Christianity? Something is wrong with you. Even to the date I still put applications for things. Put them. And I trust that God's favor in the midst of many picks me out. And he always does. But you just sat down doing nothing. When he tells you there is a way God operates, you can't understand. You better start understanding because it might be too late for you. Are we together? I came to challenge you that you bring balance into your life and bring balance into your walk with God. Bring balance. I was sharing with some of my children today how some of the things I apply for, they could be so stressful. So stressful. Have you filmed a, filmed a form of over 30-something pages? Some of you want to apply for scholarship, apply for business grants, and you just started page one. They didn't tire you. You just say, the Lord will do it. Something's wrong with you. How will you do it? If you are God, will you help yourself? A diligence be willing to what work hard that's the problem of the body of christ we spiritualize everything everything not knowing our place to play in the equation spiritualize everything are we together spiritualize imagine a situation we had some time ago a young man saying he needs to hear the voice of the holy ghost to know when to resume school have you not seen stupid things Somebody say he needs to hear the voice of the Holy Ghost to know that he should go for his exams. Is something wrong with you? Who raised you like that? Who raised you? What kind of reasoning is that? And when they finish saying such statement, they speak some few tongues. Sifo kata. Sifo kata. Tongues that look like insult. What's that? You, you see the problem? Spiritualize everything forgetting that he gave you brain to think and to reason properly to reason properly he gave you hands to walk feet to go places ears to hear information he gave you a mind that you should culture and cultivate romans 12 to renew your mind he asked you to do something about the way you begin to think 
He said, I've done something with your spirit. But what happens with your mind is your sole responsibility. I, I keep telling my people, preaching is not an impartation. He gives me the revelation, but I do the presentation. Are we together? The Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. I have read a lot inside that the Holy Ghost can pick from. Some of you know nothing. And you are just confusing people. Preaching rubbish here and there. What is inside of you that the Holy Ghost can pick from? Even the Bible says, study to show yourself approved by others. Know that there is a density you eat in study that God approves of you. And say, so you are qualified to teach my word. To be approved unto God. To show to God that yes, I am able to now dissect truths and divide the word of God into pieces that others can chew from. Study. It didn't say you just leave the Holy Ghost. Mm, you don't move upon you. Please balance your life. There is the glory above the cabot glory. And there is the glory below the Kayin glory. We will begin to see believers speak with, speak with wisdom. Bring forth solution and answers. Think aright. Think straight. Are we together? Think straight. That's why I've trained my children. There's a problem, my grand. Ask yourself, what is the way out? You went to school. You're educated. You've informed your mind. What's the way out? Don't we need like 40 days to go and wait. On what? what? You know when I say these things, I'm not despising the place of prayer. Because your whole prayer life combined. You know, I won't put it close to mine. But teaching you that beyond that part, there is some things we do. There's something we do. I trust God. I've prayed for miracle a lot here. Don't you see them? But that's just a sign. That's not the way money comes. Money comes while you put your value into the sin. That's why I don't do that in every meeting. Just it, it's just for you to prove a point. I prayed there. You wrote an exam where your Bible never finished. Have I continued? I'll bring your Bible to service. I will dip it into the, into the oil. I use it in my secret place. When you don't, you just go and sleep. When you put it, it will write itself. And you see people at this age rushing with their virus. If something is not wrong with you, something is not wrong with you. There is a place when God decides to supernaturally impose in the affairs of men. And most of the times it's for a sign and a wonder. It is not doctrine. The doctrine is study to show yourself approved. Please let's wake up and stop bringing a shame and reproach to the body of Christ. Everybody is just begin to mock, him, mock the church. Say church people, nothing. You don't have sense. They, they pray so much, but they are the poorest. The Bible calls the Holy Ghost an advantage. Don't abuse that. Don't abuse that. Lift up your hands and just wave to him and say something wonderful to him. Please wake up, wake up, wake up, people of God. Challenge yourself, challenge yourself. The ending of that scripture, 8, 9, 10, he said, When you do this, you will be productive, you will make your calling sure. People will not mock you. I say, This God you are for, what is where is this showing in your life? Because we fail to take step where it's necessary for us. to take step. Thank you, our Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Lord, I ask that you awaken their minds. Illumine their minds. Flood their minds with light. Flood them with light flood them. Boost their reasoning. Boost their thinking. Flood them with light. Flood them with light. See, hear me. I think I have seen the worst abuse of Christianity in my days. So a few years ago, 20 14 was when I left this campus and I needed to go and serve 
I know I had brain. So I knew what I wanted for my life. Are we together? And I knew certain environment and condition that can make that grow very well. A fish will never pray to us, Oh Lord, where do you think I can stay to survive well? It knows its natural configuration. So God blessed me to contact. I called my, my a, a, a very close family friend. He works with the NYC. I said, please post me to Kadna State. I want to serve there. And one of the brethren in the fellowship, very spiritual brother, so spiritual that even he's spiritual than God. Because some of you can teach God. Say, let me explain to you the Bible. He started talking here, talking there, talking there, how I have fell from the faith. And that he's praying for God's will. Sometimes we are stupid. Sincerely. We're stupid. The Bible says he sent a man ahead of them called Joseph to what? Preserve them. God gives. Imagine when Jesus was dead, right? And his body was in Pilate's um, um, custody, custody. Imagine when Joseph of Arimathea said, I want to go and bring Jesus' body. And Peter says, Should now Don't worry. If it's the Lord's will, the body will appear from. Please wake up. So we're abusing Christianity, and so he said, God, we we just interpreting Bible left because you've gotten too spiritual that God cannot even use you. And they posted into a place in Ibadan, a very terrible place. I, I believe that's where Odudu has started from. No network, no water, no electricity, nothing. How can you grow your life in that kind of condition? After like one month, I spoke to him, Bros Alpha. He said, my brother, I don't relocate to I said, why are you spoiling the will? You can't alter the will of God. Stay there. And so many stupid things like that are going on in the Christian faith. Because you have, you have gotten so spiritual that you forgot that you were created in His image. Are we together? And I knew what I wanted. If I didn't stay in the environment I stayed, I wouldn't be here today. I knew the groomings I wanted. I knew the kind of accesses I wanted to certain kind of information. I won't stay in a place where even messages I can't listen to. I can't charge my phone. Even the light to see the Bible to read will not be available. What kind of grooming is that? Please, don't cheat yourself in life and think you are serving God. Some of the things you do are false piety. What did I call it? False piety. They hold no weight before him. Look at your neighbor. Tell that person you are created in his image. That Muslim, that pagan you see, was created in what? In the image of God. That's why if they use their brain, they can come up with innovations too. They can come up with creative ideas too. And you, you are locked up in the secret place, looking for the third river to climb. Continue. Lord, I pray for your people that you will inspire their mind. You will awaken their mind to reality in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your hands come mightily upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, our Father. And under God, I call it done. In Jesus' name, I pray. And so, Father, we bless you for tonight. We pray and we ask that your kingdom come. We ask that your will be done in this place, Holy Spirit. We ask that you breathe upon us your very life. That's why we are here tonight, not as a return, not to fulfill the dictates of scripture that we should be in your presence, but that we will live here with great transformation in our life. We ask that you impact upon us your nature. Teach us your ways, Rabboni. Let your very scroll be open to us. Let our hearts be open to receive. Let our eyes see great and mighty truths from your word. Thank you, our maker. Unto him that dwells in eternity, we give all the glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Sit down. We started a journey for some periods now. I will have started a series on the process but possibly we'll have that next week
Sifa Toai. Next week happens to be the special training day for the final year brethren. One thing God is doing in our days is to bring about things into perspective and into alignment. One area the church has been cheated is in the aspect of ignorance and not just more concerned to the body of Christ but very peculiar to the race called Africa. The Bible is speaking in them, Psalm 74 verse 20. It said, Cruelty lies in the dark places of the earth. That's why we look at the situation of a continent like Africa and we are very surprised. In fact, the way things look like right now, it seems like there's no hope. It looks like you are just being forced to believe that one day Africa shall be great. One day Nigeria shall be great. Things will fall into alignment. The body of Christ will take our place again. Are we together? So one thing God is doing is to revolutionize our mindset about certain truth and perspective. One of the ways we have lived in Africa is what I call false spirituality. I'm still teaching on the Kail glory, but for false spirituality. And instead of it to have brought great good to the body of Christ, it has brought more insult to us. In fact, the solutions we enjoy today didn't even come from the church. They came from the world. That's why it's difficult to convert those outside to know Jesus. Because one of the form of witnessing, when the Bible says we, we shall be witness for him, are we following? It's not witness in the sense of we must just hold tracts and we must jump around and preach the gospel. But that in different sphere, how Joseph was to Egypt and how Daniel was to Babylon, that he will have certain men like that. So that the the, the purpose of the witness remember revelation 11 he said and two witness came and gave forth their testimony are we together he said and after they were done in verse 15 he said then the seventh angel sounded as a confirmation to the completion of their witness that the kingdoms of this world has now become the kingdom of what a god and his christ are we together so one of the major assignment of the witness it's not just in the physical preaching of the gospel but that we live lives in the different sphere and stratas of the world that truly reveals what jesus so that we can confirm the gospel that indeed we are living what epistles so it's not just quoting scriptures no that's not what the bible is for is that you become the scriptural life that's why in abaku 2 and verse 14 the bible says and the knowledge of the glory of the Lord shall cover what? The earth. As the water covers what? The sea. How was Jesus on earth? Hebrew 1 3. The Bible says he was the express image of his person, the effulgence of his glory. When you see the way he acts, when you see the way he reasons, when you see the way he thinks, when you see the way he responds to situation, everywhere he went to, he had one mission to bring forth a solution. To every problem he met to provide what answers because that's what will make us desirable by the world where we can find answers to their teaming problems are we together not just speaking tongues not just spending hours in prayer that's nice that's even the bedrock that's the foundation no but it must translate into what answers for our world so that the world will be attracted by us Are we following? Attracted. So it makes it look like there is nothing interesting about an average Christian that should make a man convinced enough just by watching his or her lifestyle and say, I want to follow after the God you are following. That's where Africa missed it. So Psalm 84 verse 7, give me that scripture. It said they go from strength to strength that appear where? 
in Zion. The word strength there, shall I shock you, is the um, Hebrew word kahil. Are we together? You see what the Bible is saying happens to them when they come to what? His presence. It's a Hebrew word kahil. So look at the kind of glory that happens to them. It's not just in the kabod. I wish I would have seen a kabod. There was the kabod. You know, we have spectacular gold dust around, you know, physical oil gushing out of our hands. Hear me? That's not what we put the church, the word to the church. I was listening to one of God's um, choices, servant. He said one time he was privileged to drop into a room, and in the meeting, he, they had angels appear in services. And he was expecting that by the following week, the church will double. Instead, the church divided by two. One time, one of my father in the faith went to a meeting. I've shared that over and over again. I was trying to describe the mystery of the glory and said, okay, give me a rod of iron right now. And they brought a very thick rod they put in these concrete buildings. And he looked at the rod and said, begin to bend now. And the rod was bending. People ran out of the church. So what we pull the word to the church is not in the spectacularness of all those cardboard. Those cardboard is to bring us into an awareness and to create a sign to pull their what? Attention. But when the attention is pulled to our direction, what magnets them to God? They grow from strength to strength that appear where? In Zion. No wonder the Bible is speaking in Isaiah chapter 40. I think on verse 5. He said, and the glory of the Lord shall be what? Revealed. Not just manifested. Revealed. It will be brought out into the open. And all flesh shall see it together. All flesh shall see it together. So how we, the latter revival we anticipate come is when we have a perfect understanding of the Kail and the Kabod glory. Are we following now hear me in genesis chapter one the bible says and god created man in his own image and after his likeness he created he them are we following so in every man it means there is a male and a female that's why when you touch the female part of the man he begins to cry is that not so they say men do not cry i don't believe that it depends on what part of him you are touching so there is a male part how do you know his female part let him fall in love then he puts his brain in his shoes he doesn't use the head again to think he his motion all he knows at that point in time is motion are we together what have you touched the feminine part of that man because he created he them are, are we following aha so the bible says when he created man man was in existence but we didn't see man in the scene because he created that man in what the spiritual dimension as a spirit we now came back to genesis chapter 2 the bible says, and he formed a kissing called the body from what the dust of the earth or the, the original greek word said from the material substance of the earth right so we can say your eyes is produced from water that's why the abalis when they want to invoke people to appear they put a water in a calabash i'm not teaching witchcraft you can go and practice that on your own so your your air is from grass right is that not so aha and then your your teeth are from rocks your bodies are from dust right mud the sand do we get what i'm saying and then he picked the man he had created in Genesis chapter 1. Because it's not as if God was confused. Or the Bible was a confusion to have seen he created. Then he came to chapter 1 and said, and the Lord God now formed the man. Because the man he created cannot function on the earth as a spirit. He needs something that must give him what? An expression. Are we following? So he made a body for that man and picked that man he had created put that man inside that casing called the body and the bible says, and man became what a living soul so what's the soul what initiates the body and the spirit together it's an attachment between the body and the spirit are we following that's the communication point are we together so you can't define a soul as a as a separate entity without bringing what the spirit and the body together that's why we call the soulish realm the realm that controls the will the intellect and what the emotions are we following so god knew the way things were done are we together so he created that kissing 
so that that man he had created in the spiritual dimension can find expression where in the earthly realm are we together same also i am now teaching tonight on what i call the double glory your cupboard glory the divine glory can only find expression through what your natural glory that's why paul said in first corinthians 15 and verse 10 he said i am what i am because of a grace there was an impactation from the divine upon my spirit however i did not frustrate that impactation it made me work harder so that that reality can find what expression people can truly know that there is something about the divine in my life by me what putting the natural glory to work the problem of africa is you come to church you got you get them goosebumps you shake some of you even cry you fall and roll when you are up what do you do what do you do what do you do i don't know really in the physical um, um, representation of what really happens to people when they fall but i just know they are not the same you know somebody say people when people fall they are the same who told you how did you know do you have a thermometer you check they are not the same are we together something has happened to them but making what has happened to them find expression becomes our major what problem so the world is not even seeing the benefit of our coming to church yet the scripture is telling us in psalm 84 and verse 7 that what happens to us when we come to his presence we go from kair to kair from kair to kair at each appearance in his presence there is a definite change and transformation going on in our life but for that divine glory to find expression we have to awaken our what our natural glory we must begin to get to terms to the fact that one we are created in what the image of god we can think like him we can act like him we can reason like him and secondly not just created in his image but that for the divine to find expression we must make use of our what our natural glory your body organs were given to you for a function are we together are we following every package in your system was given to you for a function are we together so you see an average believer that is supposed to sit down now make an inquiry study on something maybe he's applying for a job starting up a business read about the business study the lineup of the business but he just sits in the secret place of the most high and then keep coming out with esha thy power that puts nothing into his pocket then it becomes a mockery for his generation making it look like the god we are serving lies is something really happening to him of course yes but what's the problem he is not translating what is happening to him what into a physical reality pray in the holy ghost one minute holy holy are you lord god almighty Holy, holy, are you Lord God Almighty? What is the land? What is the land? Are we following are we seeing the problem of africa now so the glory of the lord was what be revealed be revealed that's how the kingdoms of this world can become what the kingdoms of our god if unbelievers lead the way in inventions in creativity then it means the christianity we have embraced the spirituality is a false one 
what is now the function of the Holy Ghost in the life of a believer. I've told you 90% of the solution on the earth right now are created from, by unbelievers. Are we together? The mic I'm using was not created by a man that had the Holy Ghost. The phone on my hand, somebody sat down and made a decision. He knew of what packaging he had from the divine. Knowing if he can exploit that. Do you know that the city of Babel in Genesis is three times larger and bigger than the tallest building in the world? I'm talking of how many years ago that even God had to come to confirm. Genesis 8 and verse 11. He said, these ones, these are humans, unbelievers, they don't know him. Yet God is confirming to us that there is nothing they make up their mind to do. I know how I package them. I know how I created them. Once they make up their mind to sit down and exploit just even their humanity, they can produce better results than what we are seeing right now. Are we together? So we are operating for spirituality in the church. All we know is how to pray and fast. After then, what do you do? I was sharing with some of my children some few days ago. Isaiah 16 verse 16. Did you know what that scripture says? It says you will suck the breast of royalty. It said kings shall become thy nursing fathers. You come to service now. And I raise my voice and I pray. Whatever you need money to do for you. May God make the supplies to come. And you got my prayers. You understand the scripture I quoted now. And they told you there is a scholarship up there for, for people to apply. And you did not. Forgetting the fact that one of the covenant of wealth transfer. Is that your education will be taken care of at the expense of nations and individuals. But you sat down doing nothing. Just believing that something from the skies. I'm teaching you what you are not hearing. What many might not say to you. Most men you see. All men that are great in life. They do something behind the pulpit. They do something behind the prayers. Behind the singing and the worshipping. They go back to do something else. Don't tell yourself lies. Please. <laughs> are we together? And so you didn't apply. You didn't. Because all your anticipation is that by the mystery, you see, because of the way you understand the cabot glory, the spectacular moves of the Holy Ghost. I've seen crazy moves. Crazy, crazy, crazy moves in my work with God. Crazy moves. Are we together? You anticipated that by the time I make that declaration over you, when you get back to the hostel, your roof will pop open with Ghana must go. Different currencies falling up to meet you. To fulfill the prayer I made you want to start businesses and yet I am making declarations over your head every day every day and night and you see grant opportunities you never applied don't forget the scripture we quoted Isaiah 60 60 what did he say again you shall suck the breasts of reality give me Isaiah 49 23 quickly he said and king shall be what thy nursing fathers they will take care of you that's one of the mystery of wealth transfer is it they will take care of you but how will you make this divine promise a reality by taking advantage of awakening the natural glory to position yourself to get this are we together position yourself that's why the Bible tells us where well, we read last week, Second Peter, I think I'm chapter one. He said, You have been given everything that pertains to what? To life and what? Godliness. And I try to explain to you that it is two, three, two different things, right? It's not tautology. There is life, how you survive there, and there is godliness, how you can become spiritually strong to make it to heaven. Are we together? And he said, To make your calling sure. To make yourself a perfect representation of the divine. Make sure to this thing I have spoken now. You add number one what? Diligence. Work hard. Exploit the grace. I work tirelessly. Tirelessly. So grace does not come to make you responsible. Or make you suspend your brain. No. Galatians 2. 
Is it 21? Check it out for me. I'm not too sure. 521. I don't know. He said, I do not frustrate the grace of God upon my life. I do not frustrate the grace. I do not frustrate. It means a man can frustrate what? The grace. You can make it look like the Holy Ghost in your life is not true. There is nothing there. I repeat again. 90% of the solutions we are making use of and even enjoying as a church were made as creativities and inventions from unbelievers. How much more if you capture the reality of what I'm sharing to you right now. That's why the Bible is saying the kind of way the earth will be covered with the glory of God. If you can capture it. Are we together? Pray in the Holy Ghost one minute. I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you with all in nothing, with all in nothing, Lord, with all in nothing, with all in nothing, with all in nothing, with all in nothing. Withholding nothing, withholding nothing, withholding nothing, withholding nothing. The Bible says, But we have this treasure, Second Corinthians 4 7, in where? In 18 verses. So as you begin to awaken your career your natural glory you make the treasure find what expression some of you don't know the kind of things you can do if only you inform your mind sometimes i look at my life and look at how god has helped me and just begin to think if a human can sit down to decide to exploit the deposit of divinity in their inside what would they amount to what would they amount to are we together? What do they amount to? But we don't do anything. We don't. We don't. Some of you, a change will occur in your academies just by you deciding to take the extra mile. After all, what distinguishes the extraordinary from the ordinary is that word, extra. What that one did that you chose not to do. I've not seen one first class student that will boast and tell me I just sleep all through the semester. Oh, it comes, yes. Well, we work really, really very hard. Very hard. Very hard. Sometimes in situations of pain, you are tired. At 500 level, I was a president of a fellowship. I go to fellowship. I'll be done, attend to people, sometimes to 1 a.m. at night. And I'm still coming back, picking my books to the class to read. Coming back again, just resting one hour, I'm up. You see the difference now? There is a grace that sustains me. So I am just taking an advantage of it. So it doesn't make me sleep. It only makes me do things, but yet I don't break down the way a normal person would have broken down. But you now have that same grace. It makes you sleep on in the Holy Ghost. Just sleep on. Are we together? Now, there are certain possibilities about the root word kair. When that word is used in, in scripture, I think I shared that to the page some few days ago on the female, female part of it. Right? One of the word kahil means God fearing. Are we following? Manifesting himself in what? In character. Character. That's why I said a virtuous woman who can find the word virtuous. There's the word what kail. Character. 
you can't speak in tongues and yet you can lie more than the devil even the devil is scared of you you are right in front of my office they say where are you say i'm currently in pakungu now pakungu something's wrong you are even shouting it and somebody is hearing you from far and tomorrow he says sister i want to invite you to gration i should look at you so i don't want to be like you they wouldn't say it to you but the rejection is because they don't want to what be like you what you are bringing forth to the world is shame not glory you are covering the earth with shame not the knowledge of the glory of god there should be something unique special different about a true what believer if there is no difference there is there should be what a question mark then it should be something attractive about you are we together something different as we are making a mockery of christianity some of you your muslim is even your role model and then you come here on friday now she kanya 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 what's that your muslim mate is your role model and when the lion of the tribe of judah lives in me maybe it's a goat check what is inside you it's not a lion that's not how he behaves god fearing it manifests himself in what character One other root word of the word Kai used in scripture is the word self control. Your ability to take wise decisions to put your emotions into control. You see anger popping out of you, you can calm yourself down. Not that they call you area scatter. That's your title in FET Mina. Area scatter. Sometimes you even brag. You say you know me. If I'm mad now, I'm Chris. Please go to a psychiatric. You need help. Since you want to mad and Chris. You see people bragging of something. And we come to church. And shout hallelujah to God. And the same people we said that before. Attend the same meetings with us. And they watch us and wonder. There is nothing interesting about this Christianity. This will just look like they are deceiving themselves. And the old heart. Habakkuk 2.14 shall be covered with what? The knowledge of his glory. What is your roommate knowing about God through the way you lead your life? You remove, you pull your dirty clothes. This is two months now. Two months. They are already complaining. Well, anytime they enter, someone is smelling. Something is smelling. Something is smelling. Then as funny as you can still be, all you kept is to pick air freshener to be fleeting the clothes every time. It's just to collapse the smell something's wrong with you and you can see where when we are talking we didn't say go and quote scriptures by the way you lead your life by the way you lead your life some of you especially brothers you cook beans God has only food I know you eat and then you leave the pot you don't wash it the next two days you want to cook beans again you say it's the same oil to serve purpose you just put the beans don't do you do it I was there, I lived there. I, I know the life. Is that not so? I didn't say you, but that's so. I'm see, I was shocked. Say that the oil will serve the same purpose. So they all put the water, put some people finish the cooking in their room. And that's how an average boy, young man cooking every time. He said, I, I stayed with a young man. He, that guy was talented. That's why when I, I, I see, I go to a place and people are cooking for hours, I'm surprised. They call him bro Gideon. Very powerful brother. He cooks in 15 minutes. Pastor Barrow, you know him now. He stays in the room. If he wants to cook beans, he will have soaked it since in the morning. So when he just put it, put the ingredient, put even rice, he will soak the rice first. Even in Domi, soak it. So when you calculate the time, that's per boy. Or this one is per soak. So he put it, put the ingredient, put everything. Just take it to the fire. In 10 minutes, food is ready. That's creativity, Kai. <laughs> Are we following the way you lead your life before those around you till the kingdoms of this world become the kingdom of our God and His Christ? We are one man, we read the Bible. 10,000 people read your life. 10,000 people read your life. Imagine the number of people you came across today. I'm sure they are more than the number of the population in this service. Are we together 
self-control self-control you don't get angry anyhow you don't talk you weigh your words that's wisdom in display you weigh your words you speak with dignity and humor you don't talk anyhow because of who you represent now another word for the word kail means tactical tactical i'll give you the root word for that word tactical <laughs> i am trusting god you know i was i was i was um, reading studying um this business is operated by african richest man as aliko dangote and i was shocked when he said he had some people they call tick tanks they are not workers he employed them their job is to think to what to think and he pays them handsomely some of you will begin to get so important like that to nations and society where companies will be falling they say please just come and tell us what you think we can do you become so relevant to be ignored just tell us what you think we can do to put these things in place i read the story of the man who founded who made huge fortunes still date from the close-up you know this real close-up your toothpaste that they call close-up the original close-up the mouth was very tiny very very small so the man wrote to the company an uneducated man he said please i have an idea for you guys but before i share my idea on you that's kail also you make deals you have to give me what so so percentage from anything that comes to this company i think 40 to um, 60 or so and it's okay tell us your idea he said if you want to make more profit widen the mouth a little the close up your sin today that's how that mouth came that size and the widening i found out that when the oppressive fume is out it's a good people use it faster now till dates i am sure he's late or dead his family still get 40 percent from that company are we following tactical another word there is ability ability the word can hear ability attached to it is to make words to make words i've told you dictionary 818 he said i am the one you will know that i am the one that give you power to what to make words but you need the wisdom to exploit the power you need the wisdom you are fully packaged and loaded by God. I remember some days back, especially when we started initial spring. Oh God, fast in my life, change my finances, change my. Fin I don't want to beg. I don't want my ministry to be apologetic. I don't want to live at the mercy of others. And God appeared to me and said, "Son, think." So I began to think, and He showed me a scripture. I think I've written a book on that, Proverbs eighteen sixteen. He said the gift of a man shall make room for him and bring him before kings and not mere men think so i sat down god bears me witness took a piece of paper so i'm crying for wealth right what are the things i can do and do very well i wrote number one i can write like chris that's what bettered my writing books till date i sat down to begin to calculate number two i have this ingenuity to bring forth solution and so i started my consultancy firm some of you paid me for 5k now to learn something from me now did i beg you to give me you get to a point people give you something you don't feel bad about it it's value and when you see that and i say it's because they are pastors uh, it's because they are pastors it's because they are pastors really are we together are we following? You consult. I told I, I do some works for my fiance in some of the things she does. So I told her re recently, I review essays a lot and speech. So I told her for every essay I, re I review for you 5K. Neatly. That's what we call value. You don't feel bad. Because the Bible says, for your gifting is given to you to profit with all. It's the gift, not the class of degree or qualification that makes room for men. The gift. Even your job will give you a salary. But when you have the gift in operation, what they pay you is for fees. Say, how much do you charge? That's what I'm asked. How much do you charge? Are we together? Are we following? How much do you charge? 
That's why I keep reading and studying. That's the only reason I did my masters. So by the time I'm coming to speak to a group of intellectuals trying to give them some leadership training or something, I won't speak because I am anointed. I tell them I have so so and so so qualifications and degrees. So listen to me. I want to talk. Kahi. Are we following? Kahi. You are making the divine glory find what? Expression. Sharpen yourself. You have a skill. You have a, a creativity. You have an idea. Sharpen it. Polish it so much that it looks very attractive to a generation. Operating extreme expertise. What did I call it? Extreme expertise. Be the best they can ever find in that area of your calling or gifting. That's why I do the things I do even in ministry. I'm not waiting for anyone. I know how it operates. If you take yourself to a point where you have what the world needs, stay in the bush, they will begin to look for you. Don't waste your time jumping here and there. That's not how men are made. You can ask every great man you see today if they were jumping one place to another. Ask them, did you know them before? Why are you pursuing them now? They sat down to somewhere where no one knew them or thought about them and were sharpening themselves till their cutting edge become extremely sharp. And now the whole world is looking for them. John Wesley said, I pray the prayer. Oh God, set me on fire. Let the world come watch me burn. Fire naturally introduces itself and causes an alarm and commotion in an environment by itself. When a fire kicks up now, even you'll be distracted here. You don't need to shout. It announces itself. We know the way it works. This is how you can begin to operate and you can predict your end. Just like your father who can call the, call the end of a thing from the beginning. You can tell yourself in 10 years, I know the roadmap I am following. I can say this is how I, end, I will end. I like the way Bishop Oedepo puts it. He said, I'm not surprised we are here. I will even be surprised if we are not here. But 20 something years, it never looked like it. Proverbs 28 19. He said, He that tilleth his ground shall have plenty of bread. But he that followeth after vain persons shall have poverty enough. Ability. Another word for Kail is hard work. The ability to exploit your strength into sin that you open up the full potential and deposit of heaven in your spirit. Now hear me. The callings of God upon the life of a man. I'll say this finally and I'll end tonight. The callings of God upon the life of a man and the deposit of divine upon that man is solely dependent on God. But what value he makes from that deposit and what extent the call enjoys is dependent on the man. Do you hear what I said? The deposit of the divine and the callings of God upon a man is solely dependent on what? God. He's the one that chooses to give you the packaging. We call it inmate wiring. They burn you like that. In pidgin English, or if you are from a do state or data, we call it follow come. That's how you came. But what you do with it is what matters right now. Are we together? I knew I wanted to consult. I knew I wanted to write. I started reading my life out because I know what exercise is to the body. The way it expands the muscles, stretch it out, and you look like two man as if they are, they are not created by God. That's how you look at two people. Books, reading, does that to your mind. It expands it and broadens it. You look at two human beings and they are looking different. As if God never made the both of them. I, I can't place my hand on that scripture. Proverbs, I, I forgot, it's 28 verse 1 or so. He said one thing about the rich, what is common to them is that God made both of them. The rich and the poor. <laughs> Have you read that? Say what is common to the both of them is that God is their maker. It means you determine your part in life, not God. Judges 12 3. Give me that scripture. You know, we sing some song in the body of Christ. Uh, am I in the right scriptures? Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost for me. Aha. Uh -huh. He said, and when I saw that I deliver you deliver me not, I put my life in my hands. This is Jephthah speaking. What did he say? I took my life in my hands. When I looked at my background, he was born out of wedlock. The son of a prostitute and was even thrown out of his father's house as a known entity to, to end up as nothing. He said, I put my life in my hands and made up my mind. My background will not put my back on the ground. If my parents made an excuse for where I am right now, I will not create another excuse for my children. I put my life in, your, in my hands. 
Because some of you sing now. My life is in your hands. I know. Sit down. Sit down. Don't do anything. Sit down. And see the reproach you bring to his glory being seen upon the earth like water covers what? The sea. Hard work! No wonder the Bible is speaking. I will shock you. Proverbs 22 verse 29. He says, show me any man of your choice. I'll read the Amplified, please, if you have it. That is diligent, and I like the Amplified, skillful. The word skillful is the word kair. Skillful in his business. That man will begin to stand before kings and not mere men. It means one of the signs of the Holy Ghost in you is the number of your connections. Oh. Wait. Did you get what I said? Because he said the kind of people that stays around that man will begin to change. He won't be seeing mean men around himself again. What will he, will he be seeing? Kings. It means there are some kind of level you must get to that can attract kings. Show me any man. Any man, even if it means Beget choose to be diligent in his business. He will stand before kings and not mere men. Are you surprised why Muslim beat you in your class? I give you a scripture now. If they are diligent, Diligence. Some of you, your problem is you sleep too much. You want the Bible say a little sleep, not plenty. A little sleep. Let me take a nap. A little sleep. I like the languages of scripture. A little, small, small. A little sleep. Like I told you the way my children used to beg me for time, like sweets. I say, Papa, please wake me by 12. I want to read. Maybe they are reading in my office at night. I wake them by 12. I say, please, 30 more minutes. Add it. Like sweets. A little sleep. <laughs> That's why sometimes you wake up and off your alarm, you do not know. A little sleep. Say, let me just sleep some more. Are we blessed tonight? Hard work! That's the kair. The double glory. What did I call it again? The double glory. The place where the divine glory needs what? The natural glory to find expression. Rise up to your feet. The way you end is solely your fault. It had nothing to do with God, nor your background. Any height you see your life, you can do something about it. That's what I'm saying tonight. You can do something about it. Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. Creativity. Creativity. Are we together? Behakobasha, Prend the Holy Ghost. Creativity. In Jesus' name. Another word for the word kahil is the word efficient. Efficient. They don't give you something his poise. The Bible speaking in Proverbs. He said he that sent us a message in the hands of a fool breaketh his leg. Get his leg. He said, "It caused damage to himself." How reliable are you? How reliable? Can you be entrusted with activities and people go to sleep and say they'll do it perfectly? The Bible says, "Luke two fifty two, and Jesus increasing what wisdom he made up his mind to grow that way, and in stature. And what was the result? He found favor before God and men. That's how it is produced: increasing wisdom and stature." Make yourself valuable. Increase your earning ability. Improve your destiny. Increase in wisdom and in what? And in stature. Stature. Innate ability. He informed his mind. The way he thought began to change. And God began to open doors of what? Favor for him. Before even God himself and before men. It's not just a Shabagaye And that's all. No. No. You must make what has been up, has, has been dropped on you to find what expression. Another word for kahil used in scripture is when you see the word excellence. Can people see the top-notch quality upon what we do? Excellence, excellence. Now you come to service. I am praying. Oh God. 
as they've written their exams let your mercy and favor speak for them and when they see your paper even me will fail you jaka 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 everywhere are we together everywhere i'm sure even if you mark yourself you fail yourself excellence do you know sometimes i just feel that we put ourselves in so much points of disadvantage before god can god trust you with certain levels of openings and you will not cause a disgrace to him can he trust you can he give you some accesses now and you not bring him a shame excellence let him give you the privilege to just have an access to the world richest man right now and see the way you will talk see the way you will talk some of you can see down Gautier now and you know the problem is the way we have done this in the body of Christ imagine you meeting down Gautier now he's, hey daddy he, 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 daddy is your father one time a young man came to my office I needed to call a minister so I just told him I said oh, please I know him and I don't want to speak to him just take his number call him when you are done I'll call him myself just to put a support to your application in my room he said hey daddy is your son daddy and the man was angry who are you I, I, do I have a son I will not know he said he was still smiling he said daddy is your son oh daddy I was even happy he had not even called my name possibly I have closed doors for me too so it's not not you are training the church daddy, daddy daddy what's that can't you confidently stand and express yourself I do that to my children when I'm talking to you I'm asking you a question calm down don't be scared express yourself we call it verbal confidence your ability to stand before anyone and bring forth your opinion in a respectful and honorable, honorable manner. So you have not built yourself now in that aspect and you want God to give you an opening to disgrace him. You want him to give you an opening? <laughs> Some of you now, you are praying, you want to walk in share. You will buy native trouser and talking package shirt inside. That's how you saw them there doing And when I sat down, the Lord will take you over. You will jump and clap with your life. I receive. Continue. Continue. That's why Africa is called the dark continent. The problem of Africa is illumination. They lack illumination. And Matthew 4 said, let the people that sat in great darkness rejoice for light has come. He said the light shines into darkness and the darkness what comprehended it not so one thing god is bringing into perspective in the days we are is lights 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 information illumination upon our minds to ensure that indeed i told you the witness right matthew 24 that the gospel must be preached as what a witness to all in what jerusalem and I explain to you that it is not carrying tracts. No. It's a part of the gospel. That's a separate assignment. Revelation is 11 tells us about two witnesses. One that has the ability to control the waters, to turn it to blood, and one that has the ability to call down what? Fire. He talked about them giving their testimonies. And in verse 15, he said, When they were done, then the angel sounded, The kingdom of this world has now become the kingdom of our God and his Christ. It's talking about the witness that will take over what? Kingdoms of the world. Whether political, church set up, academic, entertainment, everywhere. Till it become what? The kingdom of our God. And not by sharing tracts. By becoming the tract. That's how the knowledge of his glory be revealed. By becoming, we get to a point where we are admired by the world. Imagine the kind of influence begate wheels upon the earth right now. I told you when he came up with his Microsoft agenda, the American government had to call him and say, we can't allow you. The whole world has 7 billion people. If we allow you to go like this, you'll be richer than the whole world. We signed a contract. Whatever comes into your company, 50% is to the American government. They knew what that idea can make that man into. The people of the world are giving up. Look at the phones. I'm using the mic, the projector. You think he's a Christian man? Check. And so they are mocking us. Sometimes I will go online. I'll be able to see people saying, "If it's by prayer and fasting, then Dubai will not have been powerful like they are even deserts." Where the Bible says demons go to, say they go to dry regions. 
and yet they are doing those kind of creativity you you have wet regions flood everywhere night vigils here and there no have you sat down to look at that statement and it didn't challenge you to know that something is wrong somewhere lift up your hand tonight and pray this is the prayer you pray oh god arrange my life and bring everything into alignment that's the prayer i want you to pray tonight lift up your voice and pray arrange my life oh god every man you see and admire today walked through the same path to arise to greatness arrange my life bring every aspect of my life into alignment with your divine will illumine my mind let me change the way i think the way i reason oh god may i become an answer for my generation may i become a solution for my generation in Jesus name we pray I tried to do a quick research on the Bible to trace the appearance of the Holy Ghost to connect it to its effect and its use in the life of a believer and I found that the first time the Holy Ghost was mentioned that he ever appeared on the scene was for creation to take place such that even when we started the Bible we didn't hear in the beginning was a God no in the beginning he what he created look at his attribute he was described by a solution he was offering and you you want to be apostle prophet but that's all you're looking for he was described in the beginning God created the second time we hear the Holy Ghost coming upon the believer was in the time of Moses say Moses yes he said I will release my spirit upon what Bahazel the spirit of wisdom and creativity because of the quality of temple he wants to see he released the Holy Ghost to make that guy produce something that is top notch quality something that the world cannot beat that record that's the Holy Ghost I know about not just to fall and stand up no that the world we see is glory through what the Holy Ghost in us produces the kind of way we respond to situation can your roommate and classmate say when you talk the way you talk let them find it so difficult to comprehend and explain that when you talk there is something about the way you speak it inspires me it motivates me not that you are coming to the room they are getting angry with you what kind of church are we doing in Africa what kind of church you mean with the Holy Ghost we should still be having un unemployed youths with the Holy Ghost that Jesus himself called the advantage He does something to your mind i came to challenge you tonight he challenged me to to think he challenged me to see beyond the normal and i'm seeing the result in my life i came to challenge you to wake up pray this last prayer hold the hands of somebody two by two and said oh god flood my heart with my my mind with light Splash me with divine inspiration and creative ideas. Flood my mind with light. Okay. Yes. Adonai, Adonai, 
Adonai. You reign on night. That's the kind of army rising. Not just an army with miracle signs and wonders. But an army that will overtake the political scene. An army that will overtake the entertainment industry. Everywhere. The art industry. An army is rising. An army is rising. An army is rising. Jesus name we pray I pray for you I have taught his word and the Bible said in the city of Ephesus so mightily grew the word and it prevailed what I am doing by what I have taught tonight is to provoke an impression on your spirit and to provoke an opening over your life and a portal of inspiration creativity i brought you via this teaching into an alignment now you now know when the holy ghost is talking you now understand you now have a good perception of the way he packages his blessings the way he packages his solutions and answers are we together i pray in the days that are following from this moment may god flood your mind with great inspiration may he hand into your hands the answers and the solution this generation needs hear me i stand before the god who has entrusted me with this grace and call if you carry answers this word i know will look for you i'm serious i've seen people call from different part of the nation different if someone will say sir please somebody give me your number different parts some of my children if i own my whatsapp like this you just see messages i can't even read if you carry answers if you carry answers i pray may god put answers in your hands such as joseph was to egypt and pharaoh said there is no better man we can find except you may god inspire your mind so much that you get to a position where they don't have an option other than you i decree they won't have an option other than you in that area in that field in that business in that company they won't have a better option other than you in the name of jesus such as daniel was to babylon this is nigeria this is africa and even across the globe i declare and i declare may through the results your life produce a declaration be made that no god should be served other than your god i decree through the way you will produce results and answers through the way you will lead your life and live your life may a declaration be made naturally may men take decisions by themselves that will serve no other god except the god you serve in the name of jesus may your life from today begin to convince men to jesus may it reflect god's glory for real in the name of jesus christ the lord bless and keep you the lord cause his face to shine upon you this week i prophesy may you enjoy strange financial favors mark my word everything you need money to do for you this week within the next seven days it, at the, you are entering a car people will pay for you you are lack, in lack of airtime you will see an airtime into your phone you need money money will come for you in the name of Jesus and I decree the preservation of heaven upon you and upon all that concerns you there shall be no loss in the name of Jesus Christ Father we thank you for tonight we bless you Holy Spirit thank you we began a series on the Kai glory some two to three weeks back and I want to believe today is the part four of our series so I'm treating on Kai glory part four 
altars and strongholds altars altars and um, and strongholds altars and strongholds give me second corinthians 10 I will open up my heart Ready for your holy fire I will let you into my heart And into my soul Alright, give me from verse 3 For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. We began to understand the place, especially the last series, last week's series. Please get that message if you are not in service. We began to understand um, the balance to spirituality. How the church, especially in the region of Africa, has embraced what we call false spirituality are we together and we established last week the place of the interaction between our double glory both the kail glory and the kabod glory how many of us were in service last week let me see your hand oh beautiful and so we found out from genesis that when god created man he created man as a spirit in chapter 1 and he knew that for man to find an expression on the earth realm he had to give him what another kind of what glory so you hear the scripture saying things like there is a glory terrestrial and there is a glory celestial are we together and so he gave man a casing called the body so that the spirit can find what expression on the earth and same it is also for us the cardboard glory the deposit and the spiritual rea re realities embedded in our inside will be expressed through what the kai glory are we together and so if we don't make up our mind to exploit our makeup our configuration then we will not live to the fullness of our potential are we together so it brings us to a place where we now understand that for the divine glory to have a reality and expression on the earth we must open the channel for it to flow through what our kail glory are we together i gave an example last week for instance are you prophesied um over you and saying god is going to bring wealth come your way and i gave us one of the system of wealth transfer is that people are going to pay or nations individuals are going to pay for your education at their expense now after giving such a prophecy then such a young man heard there was a scholarship and he never applied in his mindset he expected a roof to pop open and then Ghana must go feed with pounds sterling dollars and the rest of them should drop down from the roof so it brings a mockery to the Christian faith are we following and people insult the christian making it look like religion is a scam are we following because of what the imbalance and i said last week um in a um, third series i think that most of the solution we enjoy in the days we are including the church we are provided by people that were not christians the handsets you use, the chairs you sit, the laptops you make use of, the projector screen we use, including the mic I am using now, we are provided by people that were not Christians. And we embrace what they brought, the solution they brought. Are we together? Are we following? Are we following? So we must of necessity make up our mind to what exploit. The Bible says we are created in what? The image of God. Any man parenting a child, we parent a child in the way that when that child grows up, such a child can take decisions by themselves. It becomes abuse of parenting when at the age of 20, 30, 
your child still calls you to say, Daddy, I need to know whether I should brush my teeth. Are we together? So if we don't begin to bring things into perspective, because what the preparation going on on the earth is for the forthcoming revival. Habakkuk 2.14 says, And the earth shall be filled with what? The glory of the Lord, as the water covers the sea. Matthew 24 said, And this gospel shall be preached what? As a witness. And I took us last week through the journey of scripture to Revelation 11 that tells us about two witnesses who some said might be Elisha and Elijah rather and Enoch and others believe it to be Moses and what? Elijah. Why? Because the Bible says one has the ability to what? Turn water to blood and the other has the ability to what? Call on fire. The Bible begins to tell us that in their days they will prophesy and give their testimony. Remember the word witness. And the Bible says we should preach as what? Witness right and in verse 15 of revelation 11 the bible says and after they were done with their assignment and purpose then the angels shouted the kingdoms of this world has now become the kingdoms of our god and his christ are we following so we are not talking just about the church the witness in it is that is that the glory of the lord will be seen in all the spheres and the systems of the earth in the political scene we will bring creativity in the business world will bring creativity are we together not just speaking in tongues no that's the cupboard glory yeah we see some spectacular things gold dust and the rest of them are we together but that creativity we will begin to bring forth solutions who will become to our generation what joseph was to egypt who will become to our generation what daniel was to babylon are we following the glory of the Lord shall what? Feel the earth. And it won't come by just we speaking, you know, few tongues and just enjoying God and just quoting some few verses of the scripture. If we don't take the lead in creativities and inventions, are we together? I I'm trying to put the balance so we can build from there for those that are just joining us. So get this series. And um, the problem there is we are looking at the scripture. Can I have that scripture now? Okay, 2 Corinthians 10, 3 to 5, I'll try to read. The Bible says, For we wrestle not against what? Flesh and blood. But against principalities, against powers and rulers of darkness in what? The heavenly places. For the weapons of our warfare are not what? Canna. But they are mighty through God. You know, when you see such kind of statement in scripture, what you should be anticipating following such statement is that you should be hearing some terrible weapons like the tartaric acid of heaven the ak-47 of the spirit you know we've invented so many weapons i'm sure god doesn't even know about are we together especially when we want to deal with the devil we just create weapons in the spirit he said like join the rock of heavens you know you just put vocabularies together are we following i was expecting that those are the kind of things we should see it following but the bible says to the pulling down these weapons we are giving in the spiritual in the spiritual world is to the pulling down of what strongholds are we following and casting down he began to explain what those strongholds are casting down what imaginations and every other thing that have lifted up itself against the knowledge of God are we together casting down imagination if in your days you don't do things that marvels the word even God will be surprised what did I say again if in your days you don't do things that marvel the word even God will be surprised I told you how much he knew the creature he made and in Genesis 11 verse 8 he said if I don't stop these guys if they say they will get to heaven they will do so I knew that they were created in my image are we following I knew the potential the abilities the innate wiring I gave to them once they make up their mind to do anything they would are we following as compared to a generation of Christians who have totally become robots when we just give our life to Christ we suspend our brains and made it look like they kept it there just to occupy space and make you look nice are we together and you know the funny thing what God tried to stop them from doing in Genesis they still did it men are still traveling to, Apollo, to, to the moon is that not so they've gone finally in fact 
I think there is a current um, research on how to make humans to begin to live there. In case the ozone layer depletes and decide to destroy some few, how they can fly and begin to exist in another planet. That's the creativity of the human man. Are we together? But the Bible is showing us another story to it. Why is it that Africa is called the dark continent? Why? 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 It's a stronghold. Give me Galatians chapter 3. It's what? A stronghold. It's a stronghold sponsored from the speakings of an altar. That's why the Bible says when Balaam wanted to curse in Numbers 23 verse 1 to 29 he wanted to curse the children of Israel and bring them into what a level of what fail, um, non-entities and failures he established what altars. That's why one thing I am trusting God to do in the days we are and even around this territory is to raise up altars. Because to dominate a territory is to make sure there are altars littered everywhere. I'm not saying you go find two blocks of stone and put together, but you can raise an altar of prayer. If we have it littered everywhere, in no time we'll dominate this land. All right, Galatians 3. This is Paul crying out now. All foolish Galatians who have bewitched you that you should not obey the Lord before whom whom has Christ at what? being crucified are we following Paul was surprised you know when a man begin to behave abnormal so what the devil does is to what inflict your mind are we together especially in Africa to fill it with what darkness by the oppressions of the rulers of darkness To scatter your mind and you see someone behaving abnormal Paul was shocked this guy saw Jesus crucified they saw him and yet they were doing things like they never saw him he was surprised and the only way he could conclude was who had what bewitched you who had cast a spell on your mind Are we together? Are we following? So sometimes you are shocked at even the decisions you make. How many of you have taken decisions and at the end you felt bad? You couldn't believe you took such a step. It's the manipulations of altars against your life, scattering your natural world glory. Your natural glory. I told you the story of a young man who was working in a very big company and decided overnight by himself to resign. Resigned from the company and then was begging all through the city. It's a manipulation. Are we together? It's a manipulation. And the Bible said, this is one of our constant warfare our constant warfare. No, no wonder Proverbs 4.23 said, guard your heart with all diligence for out of it flows what? The issues of life. The devil targets your natural glory. He manipulates your mind to make you unreasonable. You take steps that a sane person would not take. It's a manipulation, a bewitchment on your mind. a bewitchment it's like having an exam tomorrow morning and you slept all through the night without reading and then people are saying won't you stand up to read you are even angry they are disturbing you it's a manipulation said who had bewitched you who had cast what a spell on you rise up let's pray one prayer before I proceed in two minutes I'll be done We'll pray tonight Lord every bewitchment on my mind let your fire judge tonight raise your voice and pray every bewitchment on my mind let your fire judge tonight
in Jesus name we pray down. and so you see an average African having low reasoning capacity an average African see the way they manipulate us that's why the newspaper keeps selling with lies because they know we don't reason there is a spell on our mind this is spell and you know where it is difficult is that at the level we are it is what a stronghold so you find that you are opening the eyes of men to see you are under a spell and they are even feeling bad about you because they are not seeing anything a man under a stronghold can never know he needs someone else to tell him that he's under what a stronghold because in the midst of you trying to correct him he pities you as if you are the one that doesn't know what you are doing some of you know your parents are like that they take wrong decisions you are saying plainly this is wrong step and you are saying don't go this way and they begin to advise you they say the problem is that you don't have sense and you are surprised a decision you know in two three years you can see the result of it and at the end of it it still happened that way even in the midst of the fact that they've seen the repercussion they still tell you don't know what you're doing it is, it's a manipulation in Africa it's a manipulation how for instance right now that you've been this service you saw me preaching right and then by tomorrow morning you hear a rumor that I was caught with someone in a hotel by what's the time now some few minutes past seven and you sat down to discuss it if something was not wrong with you it's a manipulation that's why propaganda spreads in Africa we don't reason the mind is bewitched we don't use our mind effectively the dark continent you don't sit down to think so you go to you go you go to your 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 facebook page your whatsapp and you see an investment that put three hundred thousand in 35 minutes you will get 600 and you put something is wrong with you how on earth did you expect the voice of the holy ghost to be active then when he gave you a brain even if it was tight it doesn't work magic like that in 35 minutes you never reasoned what kind of business is that and the person teaching you such kind of system is begging you to do it by force you think africa behaves that way a secret you will have heard with himself but you invested and lost everything because there is what a bewitchment on your mind and all these things i'm saying first kings 13 give me that scripture from verse one are because demonic altars get erected over cities are we following and from that altars enchantment like balan wanted to do and spells are cast give me job 3 verse 8 he said those who raise up in the morning to what command the morning to cause the day they cast spell over the city no wonder that was a prayer david was trying to pray in psalm 121 that lord let the sun not smite me by day that you come under that solar season and your mind become distorted or the moon by night those that are operating what we call migraine lunatic are we following it means night issues they don't want to see light when it's night time strange headache on their mind why altars have been erected littered all over that city and territory from which spells a cast an enchantment that's why some of you observe that during the day you just feel sometimes unnecessarily tired you feel sometimes you have not done nothing you don't know why you're extremely lazy just one lecture you have received 30 minutes strange headache why altars littered over the city are we together and so the reasoning is distorted it's scattered it's scattered the way you think is so low so low so low 
say that man making it kept three baboons baboon that doesn't even exist in the whole of Nigeria but he kept it in his house that vomits money for him and you believed and even share some of you are forwarding your stupidities on whatsapp you are sharing stupid that you are advertising your stupidity to generations when you share some things you just saw how mad you are how crazy how low your reasoning is that's Africa so the newspaper sells easily they tell us yesterday that Buari traveled on his way traveling Fue finished in the, in the plane you bought and read then the next day the prince back again that currently he has not been able to buy Fue you bought and read then they print again the following day that the plane is about to land but something happened to the tire you bought and read something is wrong with us our mind has been bewitched are we following now when you understand this you now know why it looks like religion is a scam because we teach them the truth but because of the mind that is affected they don't reproduce the truth into what reality they don't make the world become flesh to dwell among the generations are we together when you receive that revelation that word your job is to make it what flesh through the use of your word kail glory your natural glory and endowment are we together your natural glory and endowment because sometimes it matters me where you see the greats of the world and nations today the atheist china is a communist country a communist country they don't know god Qatar, UAE and the rest of them Dubai, look at the creativities everywhere and you kept shouting every day you have the Holy Ghost, yes I agree but just the Bible, the way the Bible says the body without the spirit is what? Dead, so also your divine, your cabal glory without the function of your what? Kaye glory, to give it an expression it's useless it's useless it's useless are we together? it's useless I pray for you by tomorrow you get a job and you didn't apply you sat down you took no step forgetting the fact that the bible says Paul planted Apollo water the job of God is to give what increase we throw away our minds that's why the bible says let this mind be in you which was also in what Christ Jesus rise up to your feet So tonight, in few minutes, we want to pray against altars. Give me Job 3.8. He said, let them cause it that cause what? The day. So there are people whose assignment is to what? Pronounce words into the day. Are we following? <laughs> the Bible says, who are ready to what? Raise up their what? Money. I'm making you understand why you are not productive but you're not second peter 1 and from verse 3 to 10 he said add to your spirituality diligence excellence patience um, um intelligence and the rest of it he said when you do these things you'll be fruitful he was telling you to balance your kail towards your cupboard glory it's a double glory it's a double glory it's a double glory Let's do it so because they know we are very religious they leave us to our prayer and fasting they don't mind fast 50 days 100 pray all your life but let's do something towards their natural glory let's do something to it so those altars like we see the bible say they cast what spells each day they bewitch men they drop it in the atmosphere the Bible calls the devil the priest of the air. So he has the ability to manipulate the weather condition to make you feel so weak and tired. And so before, because you don't know that, you say, I, I feel weak. And you count 24 hours without placing a tag to what you achieved. To what you used that 24 hours to do. It's a manipulation. It's a manipulation. Are we together? It's a manipulation strongholds strongholds
strongholds they keep talking to you talking to you talking to you you just can't listen and when you you are done you feel bad you are under a spell are we together you're under a spell you are not comfortable with the kind of life you live and yet you keep living that same life it's a spell that has been cast over you sponsored by what altars demonic altars littered all around we'll have read the scripture i called first kings 13 but time will fail us how god had to send a prophet to judge altars in the city because of the dominance of those such altars around the city the whole city was under a spell and a grip remember samaria how one man one man eliamas held the whole city in a grip through the casting of spells on people so they found out they don't know what they are doing again it's a spell it's a spell it's a spell hold the hands of somebody let's pray tonight Lord every altar erected against my life and destiny I judge by your fire tonight. Raise up your voice and pray. Every item must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You have overcome. You have overcome. Every item must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You have overcome. You have overcome. Every item must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You have overcome. You have overcome. Every item must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You have overcome. You have overcome. Every item must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You have overcome. You have overcome. Every item must come down. Every song must shall be broken. You have a victor's crown. You have overcome. You have overcome. Every item must come down. Every strong shall be broken. You have a victor's crown. You have overcome. You have overcome. Must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You had a victor's crown. You have overcome. You have overcome. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, every stronghold shall be broken. You had a victor's crown. You have overcome. Every altar erected against my life, against my destiny, against my family, I judge by fire. 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 Jedagabambe adobela azoga ilalagobembe las gemene koparata 
la bebrua se katamba yaduba elamando belege bendo baratega na me angus rada da 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 shata enam bebolos de yegetala ba yagabula roba ba yege shota ya skeyate roba mbela sopa ya katiada In Jesus' name, we pray. So there are those whose job is to cast spell. One time, one of our fathers, he was traveling to a city. And he said, as he entered into the city, by noon, he saw a malam in the sky casting spell over the city let me tell you how spell operates when they cast spell over you or they they, 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 they send forth enchantment over your life it's not as if maybe if you are doing business customers will not come or the rest of them no what it does is to manipulate your mind to begin to act stupidly do things foolishly and take foolish decisions till you use your hand to cause the problem for yourself it scatters your mind that's what spell does and it is in every territory every city every city are we together God said, son, that was last week's service. He said, teach in one of the series on the need for them to judge altars and pull down what? Strongholds, thoughts that are exalting themselves against the knowledge of God. Thoughts. 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 It's a spell. Are we together? You pray this prayer again. Two more prayers and we are done tonight. Lord, every altar from whose spot my mind is manipulated. Are we together? My mind is manipulated. That's why sometimes you sit and say you are confused. Are we following? You are confused. You look at your life, you wonder what you have been doing with your time. It's a manipulation. The way you reason the way you think, the way you do things can be manipulated from an altar. The reasoning. It's a problem in Africa. I have met people, a lot of them. These 16 years of counseling people, I've seen a lot of them. Manipulations are real. Very real. Sometimes I look at people and I pity them. Are we following? I pity them because they are doing things they don't even know what is sponsoring it. Are we together? They take decisions. Have you not read in 1 Chronicles 21? Where the Bible says because the, the devil warned God to be angry over Israel, he manipulated the mind of David to take a decision and count the census. Everybody was calling him, Oh king, see what the Lord said. He said, Count. Say, Sir, I am. He said, My friend, count. The mind was manipulated. Are we following? Where you see people behaving like a child. The thinking is low. The reasoning is low. I mean the way you are expected to be thinking at this level, at this age. You are not thinking that way. It's because of a manipulation on your mind. It's a manipulation. It's a manipulation in Africa. Are we together? Are we following? A manipulation. Lord, every altar from which my mind is manipulated, my mind is becoming unfruitful. I judge tonight. I silence such altars tonight. Can you raise your voice to pray? I silence such altars tonight. There is 
there's power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power. Of Jesus, there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. In Jesus' name we pray. By the time you walk to an average young man or young woman and ask the person, what are your views of life? What are your prospects? What are your agendas? You'll be very surprised. That's when you know that there is something on the mind. Are we together? The mind has been soiled and affected. So we don't think. We don't reason. We don't think. I wish I had a lot of time. I'm careful not to go deeply into the teaching. I just gave a surface of two scriptures. We will continue some other time. So I want us to close. But I pray for you. That may God make your mind to become productive. May God make your mind to become fruitful from today. May you look at the decisions you make, the choices you make, the steps you take, and be pleased with them. May they bring joy to your life. I declare and I declare that your mind will not lack inspiration. Now, watch, listen. I can have the screen. Okay, no problem. Job 32 verse 8. From the precedent verse, verse 1 to 7, the elder ones to Elihu have spoken for almost seven days. Elihu said, I kept quiet because I said days should speak and length of years should utter what? Wisdom. 
but I was shocked at the kind of things you were saying to Job. However, there is a spirit in man that when it gets fireized by what? The inspiration of the Almighty, then that man produces strange understanding on the earth. You see that man manifesting in dimensions of wisdom, excellence, creativity, and innovation. You are thinking straight. I think it's straight. I was privileged to meet one of our fathers some few weeks ago, or this back rather. And he asked me, How about this? I said, I thank God, I'm rounding up. And I told him, I said, These are my next plans. He was shocked and he made a statement. He said, I wish all young people would be like you. Here you can predict your plans for 50 years. You are not scared to say, this is what I want to do. This is where I'm going to. Your mind is sound. Are we together? Your mind is what? Sound. You are thinking well. It's a, it's, a, it's a mockery. It's a mockery to the body of Christ. It's a mockery. So everybody feels that religion is a scam. Because you see a set of people that praise more than anybody in the world. They are more dedicated than religion than more, more than anybody in the world. They sow seed, give tithes, and give offering. Yet look at their lives. A mockery to a generation. A mockery. Because nobody told them that beyond the cabot glory you are downloading every day, you need to what? Use your kahil to give it what? Expression. Expression. Oh God! I have crazy ideas type. My problem is finances. And you came to the service and I prophesied. May words be released for you for whatever your hands want to do. And you hear of grants, business grants that are coming up. You, because you just feel your first form page and it was hard. You say, guy, leave him. Money go, go give you, go give you. That's how a stupid person speaks. Because nobody told him that he would need his kail to give it expression. He felt because I spoke a word, so something will just turn. And when he goes home, you just see Ghana must go with money in his room. Like I asked a question. You came to school. The Bible is speaking in 1 John 2.20 that we have an unction from the Holy Ghost to what? Know all things. Why did you come to school to read? Stay in your house and be speaking tongues. Holy Ghost, Shadaka Paradas. Teach me chemical engineering. Karabata Katas. <laughs> at home why did you come to school that's how it is in the body of Christ we keep downloading the wisdom downloading the revelation and do nothing about it expecting that God will just move anyhow but yet he gave you brain he gave you two hands, he gave you legs he gave you the body parts he gave you and he said boldly before all nations that I created you in what my image he knows the potential of his human creation. He knows. Some of you know that if not that you were able to stretch yourself, right? You wouldn't even be where you are today. You were just moving life to somebody who was there to push you and you found out, look at what you are. That's what is happening to some people because the mind is unfruitful. That's the last prayer I want us to pray tonight. Hold the hands of someone else. Hold the hands of someone else stupid decisions stupid decisions stupid decisions it's a spare it's a spare how can you on the day of your exam lock up yourself in the room praying that the Holy Ghost says you should not go and pray you should not go to write your exams no, I, I, one time a young man said he was waiting to hear the voice of the Holy Ghost to know whether I should resume school are you okay? Why did he give you brain? Are we following? Those are what people will hear. And call religion is calm. As if that's what they were thought. Are we together? You know nothing about finance. You've read nothing about any financial book. And every day, the bottle of oil I have prayed over, you kept drinking it. Say, so, wealth, come to me. Wealth, come to me. That's how I drink oil every morning now. Continue. 
That's how I used to drink oil. By the time you start bringing out oil from your body, you'll be shocked. Continue. Are we together? Please, let's not bring an insult to the name of God because of the way we lead our lives. Are we together? Let's not bring an insult. I am leaving you with a responsibility tonight to go home with. That you look at your life and you can now say from what you have heard tonight that there is a manipulation somewhere. You take decisions, you are shocked at them. I've seen people like that, that you're asking them, why did you do what you do? They say they can't understand. They can't. Some two months ago, is it two months? No, first semester when we resumed, a young man walked up to me after this service and said, sir, please help me. I said, what's the problem? He said, I'm in final year. I don't have laptop. I don't have phone. I don't have money. What happened? He said, I went and played Beth Niger. They gave him almost turned down something thousand to school. He finished all, so his phone as collateral finished it. Now, so his laptop too. It's a manipulative system on the mind. See manipulation. Are we together? See manipulation. When you hear people say, "What will be, will be," I beg you, forget it. It's a manipulation. They don't know too. It's a stronghold. Are we together? Pray this prayer. Oh God, make my mind fruitful. Make my mind shine your light upon my mind. Make my mind fruitful. Make my mind fruitful. You find that you don't take anything serious in life. Something is wrong. There is a manipulation. Make my mind fruitful. Ye baka brondi kabolon se de yakataradash. Reba baba ba ya da brada da 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 ya ba da brada da 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 hata. I gro do 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 yogo brada da 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 ya gada. Oh God, make my mind fruitful. Bella bem baba lan zovega ya talaga di ekata. I na no kabombe hazi ya bolombi ya kabenang yogo bariti. Redege de ba sama ya nda laga vi ya talaga di. Roba ba ya dam bro gombe lege bonza ya galunta ya gadi gadash. Ye baba rada kaske man rodon de lege de ben tayadash. Riada baba ba ya dam be balon kwang lege de yege paradeta. Igo brena non sayada brana ni yaga brena gadodoza. Rada ga bam bam briga di yo plon de lege dish. Ya bambela haskiri ya talaga di ya katonda Erada bambara gasgene meke toriada Rebebebe lege brilla galaga ya gabi ya danonte In Jesus name we pray One of the most pitied people on the earth right now are Christians Are we together? Some two days ago, I, I was very tired. So I went into the office. I lay down and I took my phone. I needed to check something online. So I opened a page on something. And I saw a picture. The picture was drawn. I wouldn't know if you saw that picture. Please come, young man. Come. The picture was drawn this way. Stay, don't worry, just stay. And they draw, they put a circle. A, 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 a basket was here. And this man assuming me to be a person I was like a hook right picking fish and putting in this basket then they draw this guy as the pastor throwing his own hook to the basket this me I'm putting fish and I saw it and I was pained I was pained because the truth there is that that's the average mindset of Christians that's the average mindset where we feel is just to lock up ourselves in the place of prayer and do nothing about it. Hear me and hear me very clearly, people of God. I won't deceive you. So many people are very close to me here. I work very, very hard. Very, very hard. And I still pray much more than any of you here. 
we just finished 100 hours some weeks ago right some of them were with me I pray I fast I think to an extent more than every one of you if I join your fasting life it won't get close to where I am right now but I work very hard I'm productive with my mind I put my hands to work not to bring a reproach to myself Paul said not to be a burden to others I am productive with my mind I don't live depending on other people I don't make my life stay at the mercy of others are we together so don't just lock up yourself pray the essence why you prayed was to be inspired by the holy ghost when you are inspired get out from the place of prayer place and go and do something with your life don't stay there every day somebody says in retreat is in retreat is in retreat continue don't worry say angels came and gave jesus food be waiting for yours continue do i do retreat a lot of time. we pray for us every night right every night still did for us the end of the year so i do retreat but when i'm done retreating i do something else with my mind i bring forth what i have downloaded through my prayers to reality by putting what my career my natural glory to work are we together i put them to work are we following put them to work i, I shared a story last week I, you know <laughs> see put your hands on your head and say lord flood my mind with light flood it with light now listen i am a pastor right and i do so many other things i write books i do reviews for people i run trainings and the rest of them i am running a training i think tomorrow is your class right how much did you pay shade five th- did i beg you for it I was even threatening you that if you don't pay your time, I close it and increase it. Productive with your mind. Productive with what your mind. And sometimes you see that five thousand times hundred is how much? Huh? In less than two hours, I'm done. And then you sit down and think you start an offering. How much did you put? If I want to live by this after your prayers use your mind are we together we can't keep training the church like everybody will be a pastor no not everybody is going to ministry sit down be creative study a lot read inform your mind that when you speak let wisdom be gushing out of you are we together let it be gushing out of you some of you right now if I ask you how long have you prayed you got 12 hours this, how many books have you read your bragging might be three now not that you finish all of them you stop that 10 10 pages 10 10 pages need of the three books and you want to go find life how how at this level look at what i have been able to achieve yet i can boast that i've read over nine thousand books nine thousand at this height and you have read nothing possibly you have a greater anointing than I do I need to come and sow a seed to tap into that if that's how it works I pray for you tonight may God make your mind productive every altar every altar from where your mind is being manipulated from where your destiny is manipulated I judge tonight I judge tonight I judge tonight. 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 In the name of Jesus. May God flood your mind with his light. May he inspire your mind with his fire. May your mind become productive from today. May your reasoning be boosted. May your reasoning be boosted. In the name of Jesus. And I decree that the next set of innovation, creativity, excellence that will begin to come forth on the earth. This set of breed I see in the visions of God that he's raising in these last days. May you be enlisted. I prophesy in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May you be enlisted. May you be enlisted. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. May God reveal himself to you. May he cause his face to shine upon you. Lift up your hands and thank him for tonight. Give him praise. Thank him. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So last week was Kail Glory Part 4. And we established on altars and strongholds. Pray in the Holy Ghost one minute. I will share something to be. So we began a series. I think I am to preach now. Alright. I walk by the leadings of the Spirit. It's me. I'm not necessarily impressed to say anything because I know my mere words changes no man. It can give them an information, it can motivate them, it can inspire them. But only His word can change men. Are we following? So, as much as we begin to start to put off some things via our vocabularies, we must still open our spirit to ensure that he superimposes his words on our words. That's the secret to all the testimonies you see. Are we following? I told one of my sons some few days, he asked me, he said, so, um, why do you like to sing? I said, that's my style. And that's the reason why I record the kind of testimonies I record. That's my own way of work with him. That's my own way to connect to him. Every man has his style. Every man has his system. Before I traveled, I just came in to travel to my family. So I came back today. And before I traveled, I was sharing with some of my children. And I told them, one of my daughters was to put to bed. And she called me. And she said, Father, please pray for me. They said, my water is low. And um, I need to do CS now. And I just came back. I was on my way from Iafemi. You know Iafemi? Because they refused to feed me in Gidankwano. All the restaurants locked up that day and I was terribly hungry. Are we following? I was not fasting, so I was hungry. Is that okay? So I said, really? And you have to travel that far? Yes. I was hungry. And I needed to what? Eat. So I to go to town. So after on my way coming, she sent me the text. And said, they said, I have to get into CS now. And I told her, you are not permitted to do CS. If you do it, I'll slap you. That's the instruction from when she put to bed. And when I just sent her the message. I said, but I told you, you can't do CS. Don't worry. I decree supernatural intervention. In less than two minutes, they canceled the surgery and checked back and they said, the water is too full. It's, it's your work with him. Are we together? It's your work with him. The way you understand him is the way you will produce results with him. Are we following? So tell your neighbor, learn your style. You, you hear the testimony of my son? Myriads of testimony today. Myriads of testimonies. In fact, this week has been floods of testimonies. A lot of them from different places. And we all bless God for that. We give him praise. So last week we began the part four of Kai Glory. If you missed the series, I just hope you catch up at any point. It's a new instruction. God gave me and I've been preaching that for past four weeks now. And I'll run through the Kai Glory for one year. I'm going to teach only on that message for one year. And then trace and see the products. And if truly I heard clearly so try and get part one part two part three part four but part four was about pulling down what strongholds and destroying altars and we saw from scriptures how demonic altars and strongholds can manipulate the human mind and make you to begin to behave abnormal make unreasonable decisions do things that even you will be shocked at yourself are we following? Manipulate your mind. Because we learned all through the series that our mind is very essential in our work with God. Is that not so? We need the Kaid glory which has to do with our natural glory 
to make the divine glory the cupboard find what expression such as god created us as spirits and no we can't find expression on the earth without him first giving us what a body so that through the body the spirit can find what expression such also it is for our life and our glory level we have our natural glory and what is that that we are created in his image are we following and from the series we began to see that most of the brilliance most of the innovation and solution, even we as a church enjoy today is brought by people that don't doesn't even know god the phones in your hand the computers you need you use the uh, f- um, microphone i'm making use of we are brought from by atheists they don't have the holy ghost but we receive their solution and brilliance because they were made in what the image of god so they can think like him if they choose to exploit their natural glory are we following so any begin to see yourself behave unreasonable what do you need to do speak a word you find that you forget things easily lord i rebuke the spirit of forgetfulness you find out that you make unsound decision tell yourself my mind is sound speak word. because what is happening is what a, a flowing through your mind manipulating the mind like paul we say in galatians 3 who had bewitched you oh galatians people can be bewitched and these were guys that had strong work with god yet he was making them understand that they were what bewitched you are behaving you are taking decisions at the detriment of your future whether you are encouraged by some i've always i told us last week don't let people push you okay no not last week i I think when i was praying with my children don't let people push you to take decisions when only you will bear the consequence write it don't let people push you to take decisions that you will bear what the consequence you can't be pleasing people and they are pushing you to do things at detriment of your destiny and your future and they will not bear the pain with you are we together are we following so glory is all about our natural glory exploiting the fact that we are created in what the image of god genesis eight. even god had to attest to the fact that this creation i've made nothing can stop them including me if they imagine they had to do anything is that not so is that not your bible nothing can stop them why i made them in my image and what was their decision there they wanted to build a house to get to where heaven and like i told us they were actually attempted are people not traveling to the moon they've gone there by force so god now stop on the humans could be they still went and brought back for us apollo are we together and i think that's the season right it's not my turn may you not have red eyes <laughs> oh, hallelujah so the word kahir glory I, I explained to us last week meant god fearing strength excellence tactical strategic and that's my emphasis today the process kahir glory the process strategic tactical are we following that's the word so anytime you see the word strategic in scripture or strategy or tactical the word kahil is used there tactical give me judges 20 and from verse 18 if i can have the screen tell me if i can't i'll read it myself can i okay judges 20 and from verse 18 now this was the story how the benjamite slew a woman and um, the other part of israel were angry and decided to fight with the benjamites all right 18 and the children of israel arose and went up to the house of the lord and asked counsel of god and said which of us shall go first to the battle against the children of benjamin and the lord said judah shall go up first next verse and the children of israel rose up in the morning and encamped against gibeah next verse and the men of israel went out to the battle against benjamin and the men of israel put themselves in array to fight against them at gibeah next verse and the children of benjamin came forth out at gibeah and destroyed 
down to the ground of the Israelites that day 20,000 the precedent verse we read in verse 18 did they see God's voice did they now go Where, did they win I want to teach you the imbalance Christian faith the process because that's what we've been doing in all the series are we following oh, you know all your pain is you want to discover purpose I want to know my assignment I can tell you now and you'll still be frustrated they got the counsel yet they were still failing they had the voice they had the instruction yet they were still failing and for the fact that his voice was given to you it means his presence we are accompanying his voice the Bible speaking in Mark 16 18, he said he went with them, confirming the words they spoke, his voice with signs following. So, for him to give endorsement that you carry his counsel, he must back you up with what his presence. Yet, they were still failing, destroying them in that same battle. Why? I'm sure some of you are just in this book of the Bible for the very first time in your life. We didn't have them today, it has always been there in the Bible. Okay, let's need read the next verse. Don't, don't go out of the screen. This is the major scripture I'll use today. Then I'll be going to play around some things for us. Give me the next verse and just stay. And the children of Benjamin came forth out of Gibeah and destroyed. Okay, next verse. And the people, the men of Israel, encouraged themselves and set them battle again in array in the place where they put themselves in array the first day. Next verse. And the children of Israel went up and wept before the Lord. This time around, they were crying like babies. If women cry, it is understandable. But you knew who were crying. These were men. It shows the pain is deep inside. It couldn't be contained to a point it had to come out as a physical tears. They were crying before God. But you gave us your counsel. That's the problem with some of us. You are wondering, but I am going with your word. Why am I still failing? The problem is the absence of the oppressions of the Kail glory in the midst of the process. We explain tonight. Are we together? Uh huh. On the evening, and ask counsel. This is almost in fast in his prison. And ask counsel. Shall I go up again to battle against the children of Benjamin, my brother? And the Lord said again, Go against him. Next verse. And the children of Israel came near against the children of Benjamin the second day. Next verse. And Benjamin went forth against them out of Gibeah the second day and destroyed down to the ground of the children of Israel again 18,000 plus 20. That is 38. Are you not surprised? Sincerely, I am. I am surprised. Look, this is how I read the Bible and I begin to ask questions. Because you don't dodge it and just keep it saying Jesus name blood of Jesus I've covered no you try your best to join into scripture that's where you get the truths of it what is happening we were taught that seek divine direction right seek divine guidance they are seeking it now and still failing this is a question mark if they didn't pray now some of you say the problem was prayer now they prayed the first time this one and they did the evening 24 hours in the midst the prophetic well opened and there was a prophecy as they go ay, 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 you will conquer you know the good thing about the scripture they didn't say a prophet spoke they heard the voice of the Lord because in those days God was not necessarily even speaking through the prophet. At that point in time, Joshua never operated in the prophetic grace. That's why when you check his ordination, what most is placed upon him before his death was the spirit of wisdom. God said, place the spirit of wisdom upon him so that the people will honor him as they honored you. Not, not necessarily as if he gave him what? His unction. So he was not prophetic. The literal voice came out from the ark of the covenant they weep before it and his voice will come in the thick of a cloud speaking to them hello hello 
that's the kind of voice they had and were still failing let's read on and see if we can find out something is this the next verse okay then the children of Israel and all the people went up and came to the house of God and wept and sat there maybe before they were standing so they decided to sit oh you understand so they, God we know they are not in a hurry maybe they felt God was angry the way they were standing and praying they were not serious now they sat down to say we are with you let's pray this prayer <laughs> are we together and fasted you see the joy of this one they now join our way biri biri dry fast that type that when you join you lose your delicate balance I was wondering why they were fasting if I was there I would not do that I will be fasting when I want to go and fight how will I win this is even lack of Kail it's lack of Kail you have understood yourself you know when you have no eating your brain don't pick something then you say God says you should fast through exam period something is wrong with you your failure will be massive it's lack of wisdom the bible says wisdom is profitable to what direct it means the first form of direction god gives to every man is number one what wisdom where you wisdom fails you or you fail wisdom then he can now come physically with his voice stop waiting for voice all the time so i want to hear hmm, 70 days hmm, you are praying i want to hear something something is wrong with you <laughs> may god rebook foolishness from his body please get the previous series is that okay get the previous series i wouldn't like to go back to some things but let me show you something from the scripture god showed me and that day on the evening now they decide to join sacrifice so they gave all right i, I know this story is portraying some of our lives where you felt you have done all you can do right now it looks like people are duping you they prayed they fasted they sacrificed burnt offering you know what they call burnt offering because that's how some of you are we are not seeing you again you are a burnt offering you have gone why are you going to see the skeleton of a man he's a burnt offering he gave the flesh you know that's how they burn offering and they pick the fat out but <laughs> he has given off his flesh totally just see him moving don't look so awkward that God cannot use you again is that okay are we following there's a way you destroy your body that God cannot use you. I'll show us a scripture one of these days. However, message, willing spirit, weak bodies. I think I explained that. All right, and peace offering before God. Paraventure, there was a quarrel. Since you did not know, since of omission and commission. You understand, right? They did all those things. And the children of Israel inquired of the Lord for the ark of the covenant of God was there in those days. I told you this story, right? That's where the voice comes from, not from a prophet. Next verse. And Phineas, the son of Eliza, the son of Aaron, stood before it in those days, saying, Shall I yet again go out to battle against the children of Benjamin, my brother? Or shall I cease? And the Lord said, Go up, for tomorrow I will deliver them into thy hand. You know, this like, you are just duping me because observe that God has not changed his statement have you observed that the same language the same lyrics all the time they asked he kept saying the same thing when you keep hearing the same thing it means the problem is from you are we together the same statement the same voice the same language it means the problem is not from him the problem is from you. Everywhere you go, people are prophesying the same thing to you. It means the problem is from your side. Next verse, please. Next verse. And the children of Benjamin went out against the people and we are drawn away from the city and they began to smite the people. Did you skip a verse? Okay, go back to it. Aha, this is the verse I needed. And Israel set what liars in ways round about what Gibeah. Are we following? Next verse. And the children of Israel went up against the children of Benjamin on the third day and put themselves in array against Gibeah as at other times. Next verse. 
and the children of Benjamin went out against the people and were drawn away from the city and they began what they did they kept some people lying in wait in the city we read that right and then came to the front of the people they want to fight where are some people were hidden somewhere in the city and when the people saw them the great warriors of that city began to chase the one they saw immediately they drew all the warriors away then the ones he didn't line in wait began to kill what is that strategy which god never gave them you see the problem now they decided to what strategize and it never came from god why he gave them brain to think they were created in his image they are not robots that's the problem of the church are we together the process the strategy I don't want to dwell much on that. We all know there is a process. Life is turn by turn. Ecclesiastes 9 verse 11. He said, the scripture is not for the swiftest. The battle is not for the strongest. Good things does not happen to those of great wisdom. But it is a function of time and chance. Time and chance is the betting of that word process. So what is the process? The mystery of time and chance. Are we together? Time and chance. Habakkuk 2 and verse um, 2, chapter 2 from verse 2, 1 to 3. He said, write the vision, make it plain, let it run it. Read it. For the vision is yet for what? An appointed time. The mystery of the appointed time is the betting of that word process. Ecclesiastes 3 and from verse 1. He said, to everything under the heavens, there is what? Time and seasons. That time and seasons give birth to what? The process. What you think sometimes could be a delay might be the process. It was intentional by the ordinances of the heaven to make the children of Israel pass through the wilderness. They could actually journey there for four days, but it was part of the process that they must go through the wilderness. Are we following? Life is a process. Are we following? It's a process. Where you are today, you will not be there in some years to come. And what makes you different, what makes your prophecy reflect in the product you become after the process is what? Strategy. Not because you heard the word. Some of you have jumped everywhere and they have told you you have greatness. You have always told you, you don't have foolishness. You got God is not just you know, lazy in heaven. And just look, look, look. So shall we say? to occupy space and time matter and just push you and say please go are we together no so professor now you have greatness in your head and you are jumping and happy something is wrong with you are you having foolishness should they see foolishness and say you are born stupid you are born stupid i'm seeing the vision you are born stupid is that what i should say to you <laughs> are we together so making the prophecy reflecting the product requires what strategy strategy you can't skip the process i told my children if you cheat the process it will show up in the product i can't say show me any man whether in business ministry anything show me how his life is turning into i will tell you he has cheated the process somewhere he has cheated the process that's where Adam failed us. The Bible says God created him in his image and after our likeness. The word after means you'll be following till you become it in a, at a point. <laughs> but they decided to become it faster and they altered the process. After our likeness. So in likeness form, it's a what? And after you follow, then you become it at a point. You can't give back to a child today and beat the child because you are so anointed. In fact, they call you bishop. And so you wanted the anointing to be evident upon the child. So you expected him to start walking. Say, Junior, run up, job boy. I'm sure the woman that bought that child for nine will give you a slap. Even though you are the husband. Say, straight leg, Junior, pick it up. <laughs> you do that? Because it is organized by the system of the heavens that that thing is what? A process. They will come all those natural abilities are embedded in that child but because of that process it will take a time for it to what show forth that's why don't let anybody intimidate you 
what you look like now is not what you look like tomorrow we can all graduate as schoolmates but we'll end up differently as life mates because time we separate men into categories time there is a process life is torn by torn life is in phases are we together life is in phases so the question now is what to do the strategy during what the process you can't just be starting say ah, young man ah, ah. you and this your work with god eh? nothing else you say, ah, ah, i'm paying price i'm paying are you doing i'm paying price you can't just be paying price foolishly the bible says the labor ecclesiastes 10 15 the labor of the fool wear it him out you can do foolish laboring we let him out because he doesn't know the way out. Strategy. That's Kaye. Kaye demands that everything you do, you operate in what? Strategy. Three things win any war. Number one is the right resources. Number two, so important in any war, is what? Right strategy. That's what they failed to do. That's what they failed. We can see now that God never said them, told them to do that. They were the one that decided I said, okay let's think now let's use our brain how do we plan this way? they were just hearing voice and going without a plan without a strategy fine god told you start that business start selling that did you sit down to do strategy do you sit down to even understand your market you won't go to do that for you now now you are failing and you keep shouting everywhere every man of god wants to say i should do this and i should do and i'm doing this i'm failing you are even lucky you still have change you're lucky are we following you can see where we are failing in the body of christ and the people of the other world is cheating or cheating us big time cheating us so very quickly now i'm saying this to especially the should i call them final year no you are not final year you are alumni since most of you have done send forth as you go out please don't be foolish strategize that is one of the biggest secrets of my life. Give me Isaiah 30 verse 8. Give me that scriptures. I call you holy. Yes, give me. He said, now go. Write it before them in a table. And note it in a book. That it may be for a time to come forever. Whatever. Strategize on paper. Anything you want to have a lasting mark must be written down. That's scriptures. It's not the statement of Brian Tracy. If he ever said so, he copied it here. Because the Bible is older than him. Strategize! Say, what are your plans? I have it in my head. Continue. Your head will be like, keep having it there. Write it down. The scriptures strategize. Read a lot. Learn about that thing. Understand that system. A business. Anything you want to do, sit down. Now, one year service here. Strategize. You'll be surprised the way one year is like a day. It will sweep past you. You will not understand. Strategize. Everything you do, strategize. I got twenty-three certifications in one year. NYC. 23 certifications just one year says because i went out there with a plan with a plan even when i went home right now i called my last one i think she's only not in school now she's just in ss3 i said anointing come what did you want to become say brother i'm thinking i see i'll start failing no you have start, you, you say i'll get back to you you are failing already at ss3 you don't know what you want to become you're writing work now you go and write courses you don't need. You now apply now, do not change the course. You now say one arrow from Edo State is following you. You are the arrow fashioning against yourself. Because in the first place, you don't know what you are doing. I'm teaching you what is making the believers to fail. So, what are the strategies for the process? The period where God is taking you through from one process to another. Phases of life where you are lameless, fameless. You, nobody knows you, nobody cares about 
it looks like nothing is profitable about your life what do you do then to truly can say that time we separate everybody into you know you have shouted it everywhere i have copied it and it has worked for me i shout it every day of my life from the first day god began to use me that time separates men into categories and he has separated me like that you can keep shouting it and he will separate you <laughs> you know we copy things too much in the body of christ you just see a coat of a man of god you copy it put your status we are shaking tables you will soon shake chairs you are shaking tables <laughs> i pity the young people of this generation it has not blessed him look at what's up now huh? they will share something to your christian page you have not read it you have shared for dead <laughs> pastor you don't need to observe it you know because you just drop it in one second you see it on happy this is this a post that is, it should take you 10 minutes to read how did this person read this thing so sharply and they have shared further don't worry they'll give you admin what's up continue it will soon be a job she pastor talked about people handling personal page right you have even taken the pastor many people are doing that already they're employed it's just that nobody's paying their salary but they've taken the role sit down to understand are we following number one the strategy process direct your wisdom and energy towards the area of your passion direct your greatest wisdom and energy towards the areas of what your passion if you don't have passion for ministry you are not going to be a pastor all through your YNYC what you are doing is 50 hours daily of prayers you are failing already you fail because one God will not even call you except you flash him so anytime he's ready you see the call you know that we do that now nah, nah. you just say this one he refused to call me let me call him let's see my miss call you flash him and then just start off like that anytime he sees the call he will he'll tell you I've seen it <laughs> are we together why you don't want to be a professional footballer why will you spend all your time in the pitch so our ladies are passing through the hostel will be seeing you the basketball you cannot even play you are always missing post now you came out to the hostel now you, have your leg. you don't know those guys they, they have medical bill they pay for do I say you should not play sport I do sport for goodness sake what I said is direct most of your energy and what passion because where you put much concentration reveals your priority are we following where you put most of your concentration on reveals your what priority check the life of jesus one of his major concentration was what praying to the point the disciples saw it enough to know that's the secret to his result they say teach us to pray how john also taught his disciples how come you're a pastor you are not known with it you are not known with fasting yeah they say our papa is a footballer you ask what's one of the things you know about your papa is a footballer what's one of the things you know about he should close church he should close church even the apostle said in Acts 4 that we can't concern ourselves with tables doesn't mean they are trying to say they are bigger than that he said but we have to give ourselves to what is priority what we amount to the greatest increase in our life and ministry the ministry of the word and what prayers direct most of your energy direct most of your energy one year of service here you read 50 books 49 relationships and then at the end of the day you are applying for a job don't worry you become a relationship counselor don't worry you find out every job <laughs> you know I don't know this is not a single summit I talk very harsh in single summit so I have to give the alumni respect that's why I'm talking a little bit calm but the young people are tiring the young people are tiring one of my son walked up to me after service on Friday he said how do you make your money I laughed I said the Lord bless you no so they talk huh? bless you no wait till they put money for my pocket when I leave this place I go do something with my life are we following I become very productive because Paul said he that does not walk should not eat he said let every man walk that he will have a testimony within and without such that he will not bring shame and ridicule to the body of Christ go read there Thessalonians walk 
number two. So direct most of your energy and wisdom. It means read things more concerned to your areas of passion. Bishop Oedipo says, as well is to a car. So information is to what? Your vision. So put your wisdom, direct most of them to the area of your calling and what? Passion. Some of the things I know today, some of the things I learned today, I was telling some of my children, most of them were privileged. At this height, some things they know. I never had the privilege of somebody sitting down to teach me personally. I learned certain things by struggles. I learned. I think some of you saw my childhood's picture. This hair was not here. Oh. It's book. I read till I literally see it going back. It's book. I needed to search for secrets. To delve into secrets myself. To learn from the success of, of others and their failures. Some of you even angry. I've been calling you are not picking. Is your phone? You think people had that time for us? Sincerely, I told you we don't even have the privilege of empty MP3 messages. That's why I'm not used to it. Have you come to my message, uh, office, see me listening to MP3? You can ask those that stay with me. I don't do that. If I do that, you'll sit in my message. Is that not some of you are doing? Young men, you go and cram message and come and pray, mystery of Mea. And even when the man is stammering, you're also stammering. So, uh, something's wrong with you. You can stay so much with something that you know have a message for yourself. It's a temptation. Am I saying it's wrong? No, I have. Once in a black moon, not even blue moon. I can just pick one to listen to. But all God will say to me about himself, I won't learn from somebody else alone. And I don't have a work with him. In the day of trouble, your conviction is stronger when you have your personal encounter. That's why I talk to you this way. Confidently. I know whom I've believed. Number two, strive for mastery and expertise. <laughs> Are we together? Strive for mastery and expertise during the season of your process where you say, I'm still, I'm still processing me. I've not gotten to where I'm supposed to be. Strive for expertise and what? Mastery. The war is not just dependent on how sharp the sword is, but on the expertise of the warrior to wield this sword. Don't be so. The war is not dependent on how sharp the sword is, but on the expertise of the warrior to use that sword. When the best is needed, better is unacceptable. Somebody said, if the best is possible, then better is not the goal. Constantly improve yourself. Constantly develop yourself. Keep improving yourself. Learn and unlearn. Your mindset can limit your advancement. The difference between me and you today is what I know that you don't know. That's how I produce the resource I produce. What I know you don't know. Are we together? My younger brother called me some months back and was sharing some things with me. And I said, young man, listen, I know you would think I'm successful at this point because of ministry. No, that's the mindset everybody have. Tight and all free and the rest of them. I said, since I started Gresham, no dime from the work has gotten to me. Hear me. Carry 100 financial books. Sit down and read. He's a lawyer by profession. You went to school. You did law. One year law school. Let's say total of seven years. Just to be called a lawyer. And you want to make money. You have not read any financial book. You expected it to be an impartation something's wrong with you i've told you what god gives you to make wealth is the power you need the wisdom to exploit it what i mean is there is hydro water here will it give you electricity you need to know how to generate it turn it to electricity what heaven spends as currency is revelation and every currency is convertible the Bible will say the word become flesh you can turn the word into flesh and it will dwell among people they will sit for you that this word works that's why the Bible is speaking in Isaiah chapter 60. He didn't say the wealth of the Gentile will be given to you. Is that what you read? He says it should be converted. The word conversion means it changes in form. So you will give value. Then they will give you wealth. Please. I will. You are praying. I should just stay like that. Somebody just misrode. And the money will just come. <laughs> May God deliver our ignorance. Are we together? So improve yourself. 
as you become diligent and skillful where you stand and before whom you stand improves and changes are we following when it comes to your work with god when it comes to destiny expertise is non-negotiable become the best at what you do you are called whether even in church setup you are inquire you are changing key it irritates me when they were looking for david what was the first quality he's skillful in playing be skillful in singing they didn't say hey, david is trying oh let's just use him david is trying then when david now come he'll now come and give testimony in church i want to thank god for his favor though i could not even sing very well so still called me you know if you try that i'll just carry my and say god bless you go and learn improve yourself everything you see i did today i learned them thank god for school of leadership i had to teach them some of them even how we could confidently address thousands of congregation how many of you learned that in school of leadership i had to teach them it's a skill there are preachers that will still hold this mic and be doing what i'm doing and people are sleeping it's a skill learn it proverbs 22 29 show me any man skillful amplified and diligent in his business he will stand before kings and not men men it means that one of the way god blesses you is he changes the quality of people you stand before when we still see Agbe, Agbe, Agbe around you you have no hammer you never blow are we following god does not pick your call like they will say <laughs> it will show by the quality of people around you when you begin to stand with kings and not mere men then we can know aha uh -huh, things is changing about this man so improve on your skill is that okay learn to create value for yourself so learn a lot of things use your social media there is absolutely nothing you cannot learn on youtube are we following nothing nothing my fiance some few days back wanted to enroll for a course online and i told her you want to do this because you know all these things already she said she needed the materials i said give me 10 minutes in 10 minutes i gave her 50 books on cake online because i'm a searcher i stay more online <laughs> midnight you might mistakenly even catch me there i don't do i don't for the past three years i don't even know what goes on in facebook and i'm not saying you should not do facebook it's because of my assignment i'm directing my major wisdom there so you two you go and copy me now because i said i don't do facebook you two you delete your facebook you now be hustling now <laughs> please the way you copy things then that's why the bible say take heed how you hear what did i say again take heed how you hear if a man of god say he doesn't do something who say you should not do it don't you see me on, what, on facebook am i not there go to instagram i post daily but it's not me that's what i'm saying the pastor said i have people that do that because i know i needed my presence there but physically i don't have the time so i pay for it i'm always online searching in 10 minutes i told her tell me all the things they say they will give you let me give you and the person wanted to charge them is it nine five i've been nineteen five You see goggle you see goggle huh? if you are going out with a lady you ask goggle you see my wife you'll be surprised to give you answer <laughs> that, that's how funny this internet is that's why i tell people if you don't know anything right now something's wrong with you go to youtube anything you want to learn life they will teach you absolutely anything are we together so utilize your social media direct your energy like i gave an instruction to all my alumni you must go and start learning free courses online there are myriads of them online go to your your google play just type free courses you see apps U university of california many of them running free courses Re learn them the knowledge will be impacted in you now if you can be this busy how will you now say you are bored you see it how will you say i traveled with one of my daughters where's sandra we traveled together to zaria we dropped at a point she was going to her destination i was going to my destination did we see it today Back. the same location i said i don't worry i'll come out when i just do something i'll come and pick you up we'll start around town from that moment to date we didn't see it today we can say sorry eh? some other time even my dad i only spoke to him this morning 
you are so busy busy with your life busy with your destiny looking for what to do to make yourself more valuable to make yourself more valuable are we together that's why I want all of you that are my children you are shouting done and dusted thank God some of you to stop putting that don't wear I just finished my master trying to apply doctorate you are done and dusted what didn't they say you do greater what, what are you done in you better wake up oh. you just signed in now you want to start school <laughs> you want to start school now I'm not saying you must do what well, masters or professional courses you must engage in them keep learning Ecclesiastes 12 verse 12 he said to learning there is no end however be cautious so you don't wear yourself out Ecclesiastes 12 12 alright let me end this I have about 12 I'll just give you 5 for tonight maybe we'll continue some other time because of our time 5 or number 3 rather trust the process and keep the future in view trust the process the bible say though it might tarry wait it will not tarry I think I've explained that in a service the mystery of it might tarry and it will not tarry and the best way God could explain that to me was to make me meet a very great man. Privilege I was to meet with him. I sat with him and he said to me, he said, I just got my private jet and God said it to me 26 years ago. God said to me, son, um, son I'll give you 100 houses. And I think after 16 years or so, in one year, God gave him 100 duplex. Now, you see, he will have been complaining over the years. We are the hundred. We are the hundred. That's the mystery of it will tarry, it will not tarry. What it means by it will not tarry, though it's tarry, is that he pays you as if those years were not wasted. One year, hundred houses. Now, paraventure, the way he will have wanted it by human logic was one, one per year or even two, two. In 20 years, can he get hundred? That's the way he works. Trust the process. Trust the process. I've seen the way God takes me from one level to another. Follow the process. Stay with it. Don't let anyone intimidate you. Don't let anyone make you feel inferior. Stay with it. Follow conveniently what God has instructed you to do. You will see your life becoming it in no time. You see why most of the time people walk with God and feel like some of the things you hear today just uh, call Papa, let him just say something and something will happen. It was not like that. I hustled. Then when I was, you know, all these people are attending some programs now. When we are attending it, it was from age seven. We'll be watching men of God saying something. We'll be wondering, Jesus, huh? how did this man pray like this and this thing happen like this? <laughs> are we together? But you see your life changing over and over. Number four, master the art of delayed gratification. I know some of you, you have made up your mind. As I am going out now, they will show no in my body that I'm a graduate. First, you have dashed out all your clothes. You say people should come and choose in those there. You open your box. That they should choose all the clothes. Because you want to change it now. And show them that graduate is not undergraduate. One has under. Another is on top. <laughs> and all the things you will have used money financially to do well with your life. You have used them now to be changing clothes. If you wear the clothes tomorrow, you are wearing. You are supposed to wear tomorrow today. You'll be naked tomorrow. That's how it works. Master that art. Be ready to sacrifice for your future. Every great man you see had that seasons of sacrifice. The news they saw things calling on them. Say, come and have me. They say, no, I can keep this for now. I can keep this for now. They were sitting, I just told you I, I took cab even though at a point when I came back to Jika I was assisting my children what happened to me maybe I just dropped in front of us and asked myself wait okay, I went to one of my daughter I said how much was our TP when I total it I said I think I was good there no, that's the way I reason at this point you, you get that right but afford to go to you want to go to that shop I told you there was something I invented in Gidanko and the strawberry milk it's pink in color I put it, it changes the countenance of the Gary. Gary smiles at you. <laughs> you, 
when you eat garlic, she'll be smiling. You know that one, I just pure white. It's, it's, it's sad. <laughs> so I, I invented it. Say, so let's, let's make it look touche. In this same game. I tracked. Tracked. I was telling my daughter, I said, oh, because I have this issue of motion sickness when I'm traveling. Especially when the man is not running at a very high speed. I like speed. Once you begin to do like this, Kai, my stomach starts turning me. But just be going, phew, phew, phew. I won't die, don't worry. Just be going. I, I know I won't die. <laughs> so anytime you do that. So I was telling my daughter, I said, please, January, Father, see my heart, I have tried. Flight. I've changed. How, weird, how much is it? Cardinal to Lagos is 15K. Times two is 30,000 now. What's your problem? You can't pay 30,000. But there were times I was trekking. I know the lungu in this short All the lungu, the shortcuts. I know everyone where it is. Whether through chapel, this new chapel site, whether through this way, everywhere. I remember a day I was trekking. One of my daughter was accompanying me to the roundabout there so I can continue my journey. And a young man saw me. I think he attended this year or so. He ran out from the the brows. He says, sir, please, ah, sir, you are trekking. Let me buy, let me pay your TP. I, I never wanted him to know I'm trekking. I said, no, I just felt like strolling to the house. <laughs> you know, I've been in the office sitting now. Let me stretch my legs. <laughs> and as I went, are we following? But things have changed. Everything is changed. Nothing is the same. Everything is changed for me. Trust the process. Are we together? Trust the process. Master it. I was telling my children, God bless me witness. I don't know the year last I entered market to buy a shoe or a clothes. Whenever we are primarily not dashing clothes, we reach to watch. I just say, comes. Pick, 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 pick. When I see people, I have 30 suits. I've given over, over 100 of them. <laughs> you are bragging on. I don't like suits. In this kind of heat. And I'll tie my neck and come like this. You know me and his quarrel. If you want me and you to quarrel, just say today is suit service. Ah! I will be thinking for one week till the next Friday. How I'm going to put that in on. So I dash it as with free will. Once I, I feel like dashing. Are we together? Delayed gratification. But some of you, that's your ambition. Because you are a pastor. And not as if you are buying quality suit, Guanjo. Godobe. You go and bring that thing like that and come like that. And then start suffering all this thing and get all kind of to shape. Say, please shape it. Make this place come very well. Let it look like suit. Because even you to know it's not suit. There is a time for everything. There's a time. There's a time. I remember one time, right now I wear watches of over 40,000, 50,000. I don't know if some of my children remember that I asked one of my sons, I said, please, they say we should start wearing watches. So, get me a watch. So, he, he brought me a Rolex. So, I asked him, I said, how much is this thing? He said, 8,000 as of then. I said, if I carry 8,000 and give you for this thing, even God will not be happy with me. I'm talking of something 250,500, you are calling 8,000. I'm like, bro, something I'll shake in my hand like this. Is he producing money for me? <laughs> that was then. <laughs> but right now, I can put expensive things and not feel the pain. But it was not always like that. There are seasons of life. If you cheat the process, you will not have a testimony to tell. What will be your confidence in the future? What will you say you've been through? Which beer did you kill? You cheated the process. You bypassed it. Master the art. Don't let anybody disturb you. Are we following? Don't let anybody disturb you. Some of my children know at this point in time I can buy a car without struggles. Peacefully without, you know, having BP. But I chose not to. I chose not. And I see feel comfortable coming to, I take bike, I call my branch. If you feel, ah, this man is taking my, come out. What I carry is for you. I don't need this. Is that, am I sick? The oil I carry is not for me. I'm carrying it on behalf of your people. So if you say you don't, it's your business. When you look need it, you look for it. <laughs> Are we together? Relax. A time is coming. Now, before you know what's happening, you know what? Uh, is it new people who call chukulele? In few years to come right now, you start seeing chukulele. Some of you will be watching on TV then. You, you know what they call chukulele? This machine that is to follow big men. You now see, say, and that's Papa. If you wave me, I wave you actually. I say, yeah, man, that's me. 
because I was passing the street some days, nobody waved at me. Nobody even knew I was passing. It's a face. I'm like him myself. Now I'll go and force myself. Now I'm put the ministry on that body. That they should give me four bodyguard. And they should go and find a machine that will be doing one one and carry me to this street that is not even that. And then bankrupt the ministry. So I made like just land. The two boys will be in the front, two will be at the back. Protecting me. Or they should be protecting the people from me. <laughs> Are we together? Finally for tonight. Let me give you the last one. We continue next week. Are we blessed tonight? Be disciplined to stay in your lane. Be disciplined to stay in your lane. Next week we'll round it up. I have so much to say to us, especially the alumni. Be disciplined to stay in your lane. Don't get intimidated by what others are doing to you. Start pursuing their own vision for them. Are we following? Don't stay in what God has shown you and revealed to you. Continue in it. Continue. I can copy all kinds of things if I want to. But to not attract the people that I was sent for. <laughs> Are we together? Be disciplined in your lane. One of the problems that is leading to all this Yahoo Yahoo dubious issue is people in a bid to beat other people's achievement. I've told us, and I'll recite this scripture again. I tried to explain it to us last two weeks. The Bible says, Run the race with what? Patience. Come. Okay, I think it was not in service. I did that while I was praying some of my children. Come. I want of you to run, right? Stand. Just stand. Is that you want to run? Stand. No, I want you to run to this direction. But don't break. The, if you break, you pay too. It's the example I wanted to do. I didn't say you should break something. So stand. I want the first of you who will run to go and touch that um, laptop there. Quickly, go. Okay, now stop. Come. Do they look patient? Why? They are running in competition. And in competition, your job is to outdo the other, to outsmart them. When the Bible says you should run the race with patience, is that you should focus on what they ask you to go and do. Are we following? It is totally anti scripture to judge another man's assignment. You are not sent to do the same thing. Whether by few or by many, what it matters is that we present God the kingdom. Stay with your assignment. Else you become dubious. You want to produce results that were not meant for you. Are we together? Rise up to your faith, please. I'll stop here. I have about seven more. Please, next week, I, I promise you, we'll round this up. You become dubious. It will lead you to start talking negatively about people. Are we together? You see a man right now. God has helped him. He's playing with dimensions of miracles. You say it's not by miracles. It's not by miracles. It's by what? It's envy. Those are statements of envy. we together because you have made up your mind not to focus on what they ask you to do like I, you know the point before this was trust the process keep doing you will so produce your own result it will lead you to start talking as if you are not a Christian as if you are not a Christian I stand before the God who has called me into ministry ask all my children you will never catch me talking negatively about somebody else impossible you are not my assignment I don't have such a space and time for that if I want to just start bringing up a matter, say this man, you see, I walk out. They know me so disciplined to it. I walk out of that place. I won't discuss it. I won't. Or I come and tell you on the pulpit. I brought you a message from the throne of grace. And then the name will be, the title will be somebody's name. What kind of throne is that? You went somewhere you didn't know to keep there. So it's not the same throne of grace we all know. Are we following? Stay in your lane. Don't let others intimidate you. Don't try to copy. Don't try to outsmart. Run this race with what? Patience. You will become it. Tell your neighbor, I will become what God said I will become. It's a process. Now hear me. There were days, the way you sat down like this. I sat down in meetings like this. I was watching. <laughs> a man of God will preach. I will sit down like this. 
this guy know Bible like this? I was there. I won't deceive you. I'm making you understand that you are still in the right track. I was there. But it was a face for me. I will see a man of... You know, if I... At this level, I say lift up your hand. I want to pray. Let people falling down. You know, I, I can't eat insult it. If you are doing that, just pass yourself. I told you when you do that, it's a sign that you can touch power. It's not power. Power is some of the things you see I do. I can look at the sex of a child and say, what do you want? Oh, my daughter says she's carrying a female doctor, checked everything at seventh month. I say, tell me just what you want, male. I, I change it. She gave birth to a fine boy. That's power produces results. When you put this light, you know it make people see? It's not just people going to fall. See, because you want power. What's that? When you see people fall, you've not even know how to direct it to results, to solve problems. And you know when I say this now, if we want to enter that level now, some of you can hang on the air now. <laughs> or you enter inside, you start breaking chairs. But I don't get impressed by that. Are we following? I don't. I remember when God warned me about that. I, I go to meetings. Oh God in heaven. I saw power to a point. You can ask those that were with me while in the campus. Not even now. I'm calm now. You know I keep saying it. When they came, some of the alumni, those that had meeting with them. You hear what they said? Like this, I'm calm. I'm calling you out for a case you refuse to come out. Those days there was no direction. No. Hey. The Holy Ghost was shocking me. Not some things now. I know that is a sign of I'm crazy. I say you refuse to come out. Holy Ghost, make the person move and start bringing just the person. Hey, 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 hey. And start jumping out. Go and ask. In this campus. Because they were just doing the thing was shocking us. You know, you're feeling yourself. But right now, I can't do that stupid thing now. I should be crazy now to just everyone lift your hand. Is that how you will grow? Are we together? I can go for external meetings and do that. Some of you saw meetings. I go, you follow me. Uh -huh. But my own people, why am I following you? You need to sit and hear well. Hear well and grow. Hear well. So it's not that there's no falling down. Those days we are watching. When you ask us, how's the meeting? Say, ah, the meeting was powerful. The way people were falling. I said it too. <laughs> you are not the only one. I was there. <laughs> That's how we rated meeting. Say, Jesus if you see the way people were just falling <laughs> but can those things impress me now I remember a meeting I went for a young man landed up to the sky fell and he became his trouser became like those Scotland men the way he fell you know those Scotland men what they wear uh -huh. he just fell <laughs> now, hear this as I close up God said to me he said son I want you to be careful because you are taking a step that others took and you end up that way you know, one thing I told you that the presence does is to change you if you go to his presence and you are not hearing it he live there you are not in his presence because I said when you call upon him he will show you things you don't know because what keeps you in a level is that there is something you don't know so if God will change you he will tell you something that must, you must do even Mary say whatever I say do do something will come as an instruction and so God said to me say son if you continue this way the way you are going because it was crazy you know there was a, when you see you are in your season I can just come to a meeting some of you can ask in the fellowship I pastor there just entering a meeting people are jumping into bush or maybe official it's what the record that you used to do in prayer it's the prayer they will back people home and I didn't pray. I just came to round up. You know the story now. They will back them home. It will be so crazy. I'll tell them, see, eh, the way this is shocking me. As you reach the host, every your roommate will begin to fall under the anointing. Ask them, in this campus, you will see they will go. Inside host, they will hear shout. Ah! Ah! Inside host. So I felt I had it now. Anytime you come, even eating strong ever. Let me just take one song. There's something about him and my voice. One song is okay. I'll connect. That's all. Everywhere scattered. God says, son, this is how you will end. It will kill your hunger. You know why? You will not press for reality. Since you feel enmity you go for, people will what? Fall. So I forced myself 
to get to a point we are not interested in that in this year how many times have I done anything in a service except it comes by itself maybe I'm worshipping it's an answer lift your hand at this level no but see the testimonies keep multiplying by the day crazy raw miracles why I know that power solves problems so it made me to know that oh boy you don't get anything no I kept pressing I pray for cases myriads of cases I've prayed for I don't know my is it pastor's appreciation service you saw again give a testimony of two years I'm not here yet pastor appreciation I prayed for my friend she came they just brought her to my office she was bleeding for almost is it six months continuously her friend brought her said come and see papa she doesn't even attend my fellowship I think she goes to live in faith also but I know her very well some of my children so I say, young lady, what's the problem? Say, I say, down is it? Jesus did it in the Bible. Say, down I can see it. He said, well, just go ahead. It has settled. I didn't know it two years when she came to Pastor Abraham. Say, you remember the prayer you prayed that day? One, a lady was in. They, they brought her. I think, how you brought her? Worm comes out of her leg. Worm will come out like this. I heard the leg. The thing dried up, closed up. <laughs> Are we together? Are we following? challenge yourself it's a process it's a phase I was where you are and even where I am right now is not where I'm supposed to be it will change over time don't get disturbed don't get discouraged there are times every post I see I want to attend even if it's an abalist I was looking for something till information begin to come to teach me how this thing is coming how they can get it and I pray every information you need that is right for your destiny every information you need that will align you to destiny that will put you in your rightful path and your rightful track may god release to you i decree may god release to you i decree may god release to you pray this one prayer lord everything that is that i do that is not advancing the course of my life shine your light upon it there are some things you just need to change there's no two way about it everything that you know that is what is holding me bound that is not advancing the course of my destiny shine your light oh god upon it we make a miracle walk a promise keep light in the darkness my god that is who you are yeah we make a miracle walk i promise keep light in the darkness my god that is who you are we make a miracle walk i promise keep light in the darkness my god that is who you are we make a miracle walk promise creep light in the darkness my god that is who you are yeah, 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 yeah. we make a miracle walk promise keep light in the darkness my god that is who you people of God I speak from my heart to you you know what I'm saying to you all through the, the, today's the fifth series some people call them Levitical truths not everybody want to say that because we feel our job as pastors is just to teach you the word are, are, are we together but I told you what pushed me and provoked me to the place of prayer, locked in door for seven days, prayed one prayer point, was when I go to WhatsApp and I see people shouting, religion is a scam. With all the churches people are still poor. With all this, this making mockery of Christianity. And so I began to ask God, what's the problem? But of a truth, is that not what it was? That's it. It seems like the people of God are even doing better. No, sometimes you don't tell yourself, like, I'm real with God. So I locked myself seven days asking for answers. And he began to teach me the divine and the natural glory. That's what I showed you tonight. I beg you, sit down. Know what God is supposed to do for you and know what you are supposed to do yourself. 
Strategize is nothing, it has nothing to do with God. Strategize. Strategize. <laughs> Are we following? Strategize. One of my boys called me. I was talking about leadership and the rest of them to choose leaders and appoint leaders in his place. And said he needs to pray and fast. I said, Are you crazy? To choose people who walk in God's house, you are praying and fasting. Where did you see that inside the Bible? Because of too much, you know, when you spiritualize everything, you'll get to false spirituality. The Bible says Jethro just told Moses, Go and choose for yourself an appointment that can help you. Is it God that will work with them? Paul told Timothy, When you get there, look for faithful men. Just look once they are faithful, look for them. You are the one that will work with them, not God. You make the choice, you choose. The church is getting into false humility and people are behaving like robots. As if when they just get to God, they suspend their brain. Are we together? I shared a testimony I keep sharing to us. That God said to you that one of the mysteries of divine wealth is that nations will pay for your studies at their expense and individuals. Now all these scholarships that came out, you never applied one. And every service you come up as I prophesy. Ah, wealth. Why are you frustrating my prayers? I pray people will sponsor business. I've prayed that prayer over and time on and over here. Anything you need money to do, God will raise people that will do it for you. Now there are business grants you didn't apply. You just sat down because the church just told you, just stay there. Something just do a crack the water. Then you see Ghana must go. We just appear. Boom! Inside your roof. Please wake up. Get to work. Are we together? Get to work challenge yourself get the other series especially the final year student challenge yourself challenge yourself you are too packaged and loaded to suffer too packaged and loaded that you cannot just struggle you just need to maximize your Kail glory your natural glory put them to work lift up your hands let me pray for you okay pray this prayer one prayer Give me Job 34, 32. Job prayed a prayer there. He said, That which I see not, open my eyes. <laughs> that which I see not, open my eyes. Lord, put fire upon my system. Put light upon my eyes. Flood me with creative ideas. Inspire me. Job 32, verse 8. He said, There is a spirit in man. Once it gets the inspiration, the fire of the Holy Ghost, it produces understandings inspire my spirit oh god put your fire on my spirit put your fire on my spirit put your fire on my spirit ya beka labo sata ya la ya gadash ye babaras kumeneko belahati edesh radadas ge ya lando ligiva shala gadagadash Put your fire on my spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. See, some of you, you know, you even know more than what I said. But the problem is, you don't know, you don't have this drive. Something that can push you. Is that not so? You know, that I need to do this, I need to do this. See, my desire is to get to a point where I can see each and every one member of this ministry produces value. One of my son right now, important is from China, right? Is he my car? You helped him. Selling some things right now. Amma has a product line, right? Make liquid. It was it not a joke I said it. I was angry. I said, all of you, sit down. Because I had to beg somebody to come and do it for me. This black soap. No, we are trying to go natural. So I can look like Sarah. You understand? It's a mystery. We'll talk about that some other time. So I had to tell her, I said, okay, now instead of me paying somebody to do it, go and learn. Is that not how you started now? Producing value. I'm sure in her dream she will never have believed that she can do something like that. But it was buried inside there. It was in there. Oh God, there is a spirit in man. That inspiration, that word inspiration means the fire of the Almighty upon that. Give it that man was, he began to take decision. Make after the one of the place of the Kai glory, which we deal with in part one, was that you take decision. You know, we've thought on the need for divine direction, the need for divine guidance. I put the balance there for you. 
because you can't have a child and at 16 years 20 years he's still asking you daddy should i brush my teeth won't you land this slap that's bad parenting you your job is that you wish to train up that child that he can take sound decisions because he now thinks like you he now acts like you to a point you can now hand over the family business to him and say this boy can take over this thing now but you we, we, we spiritual level everything every if when you want to go to the toilet and i say father should i go wait now wait till you hear a voice what tells you to go can you write something ring inside of your system wait the bible says in isaiah is it 20 31 he said you will hear a voice behind you saying what this is the way to go be going where's the word behind you take step why philippians 2 13 it is he that worketh in you both to will and to do he said whatsoever is true worthy think on it he told you to think the word comes behind he said this sign shall follow them that believe what does it mean when something is following you? where are you you are be up, up in front of it you take a step then the signs come behind following now you sat down expecting the signs and it's looking like the word of god is not working challenge yourself sit down and strategize i knew what i wanted and i went for it i planned my life accordingly that's why sometimes young people come to me and they start shouting i will you know i've taught a message on purpose i will correct this because some of the things people are calling purpose is not purpose though. there is no purpose that say whether you should work in julius Veja or you should work in in uh, what do you call it maybe one year company that's not what, when you the mindset you even come when you ask me those questions it's wrong so i want to know my purpose and in your mind i know what you're expecting it's for me to tell you you'll be a pastor you work in julius Veja. is that purpose it's wrong that's no purpose please purpose is the reason of a thing all those jewelers better where you are watching are just platforms which you can still in there fulfill a purpose are there no pastors that are working you are mixing up everything that's why now i just told you now you will be a pastor you left school see it you left school say you won't read book again they say it's pastor lord i pray for your people lift up your hands let me end this meeting tonight. are you blessed tonight are you sure you are what's our last assignment tonight go and what strategize learn to plan learn to strategize tell yourself this is what i want to achieve this i'm going to go about it then the world come behind if you are missing it that's why i'm confident to take steps why i am secured in the voice of the holy ghost in the midst of my steps he gives me his voice now hear me the bible said listen the bible said paul and Barnabas wanted to enter to a city to preach and the holy ghost forbade them not to enter it means they never pray to get there they need to ask him Those choice somebody say go to all the earth and preach because you're asking god where you go what's your problem that's bad parenting and that's where the body of christ is missing it the world is thinking and using their brain even though they won't make it to heaven because they abuse their cardboard glory which is a connection to jesus right why we are on extreme is that we have the cardboard connection to jesus but we are useless now here we're useless we don't think we don't use our brain are we following you are in the hostel you exposed yourself you know you are living in the midst of a forest you cook you not even watch the pot you put food you chop then you sleep open the window inside a bush mosquito will bite you then you come to my office and say you are feeling malaria i should pray you don't look at me no is, well, is that a demonic attack i should use the anointing now for it all in the pride that you want to say i didn't take drug people saying it check the condition they live <laughs> after you start copying and start shaking tables you still shake tears check the conditions they live now you were so dying in those days. These are they carried you now to clinic. It was you were even lucky they will have called ambulance. Because you were gone, they carried you. Because somebody told you that you don't take drugs, you don't do drugs. Who told you is a sign of the anointing? Even Paul said to Timothy, the way you are getting too sick, take a little wine for it. Take a little wine. This one is a personal health, biological problem, it's not demonic. Take a little wine for it. 
if you expose yourself to mosquito it will bite you and God created them they carry something they will give you is it not God that created is it demonic no, I still pray I still pray but they are suffering me that's what I'm saying there are some so so one of my daughter came to, one time to my office she just ran Papa, Papa, my stomach have been, have been purging. Day one, but I sent her to the hospital. She couldn't do it. Day two, I said, what do you want me to do? Now? I should pray. I just took bike, went to front of school, bought flaggy. I said, take. She took two. That was the end of it. Now I should release the anointing on that kind of case. You are purging. You are purging. I should come and pray. Oh God, stop the purge. What's your problem? False spirituality. Are we together for spirituality? Lord, I pray for your people. May your wisdom rest upon them. May your wisdom rest upon them. May your wisdom rest upon them. Flood them with light, oh God. Make them productive. Make them valuable to their generation. In every aspect of your life and in every area God has called you, you will produce outstanding results. I prophesy you will produce outstanding results. Whether in business, in ministry, in academics, every aspect of your life produce outstanding results. Produce outstanding results. Produce outstanding results. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. Please take a step. Is that okay? Take a step. We'll continue next week. Please don't miss next week for anything, except you are traveling. Let's round up this series. Because I need to, especially those going for service here, I need you to hear some of the things I want to say. Those are the things that kept me, that made me survive. You need them very, very much well to correct that misconception. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord grant you his peace. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you. You will not know struggles in life. You will not know delays in life. I prophesy supernatural speed for your destiny. I decree supernatural ease for you. I pro prophesy rest on every side. In the name of Jesus Christ. May a mighty testimony come for you this week. May a mighty miracle come for you this week. Mind-blowing miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for everyone in this service as a gift tonight, I prophesy the reign of financial favors everyone present under the sound of my voice even if you don't have a bank account i decree miracle alerts miracle alerts in the name of jesus just lift up your hands and thank him let me round up the message i was sharing for the fyb last week the process part two kai glory part part five or part six now how would it know revelation three and from verse eight I'll be very fast, so just make sure you pay attention. We've really gotten a lot of God's word tonight. Really, really blessed by the preachings of his word from God's people. And I know that one thing God is doing in the last days is a mystery called the mystery of the beginning and the end. When you read your scripture, you always see the Bible ending with a lexicon so as it was in the beginning so shall it be in the end so everything you heard about the body of Christ in time past every kind of information you gathered about our spiritual ancestors the Bible says as it was in the beginning so shall it be in the end it will be a union where the beginning and the end come together as one in a generation are we together are we following it's where god said i will give you the former rain and the latter rain all together in one season you see i am of a very firm belief irrespective of what is happening across the globe right now that a capacity of people on the surface of the earth will be saved are we together first is that i count it insultive 
to the blood if hell becomes populous than heaven secondly is I hold on to his word in first Peter he said he's not slack consigning his promise but delays in his coming that to that end if possible all men not even some all men it means his intention is not to even see a soul in hell you know the way we've come to preach about hell especially in the church and the body it's like we we don't even know it angers God when we say certain things about that it bleeds his heart yet we make it look like hell is the opposite of heaven are we together are we following thirdly it's based on scriptures revelation 7 he said and i came before a great white throne and i saw he that sat upon the throne and before him was what a great multitude that cannot be numbered at least we even know the population of the earth now right on an approximate and yeah they are giving you an experience of what will happen and that it cannot be what numbered now i like the next verse he said they didn't come as angelic beings created in heaven he said they came from where every tribe every tongue every nation every race it's a divine system it's a divine strategy and it's going to happen are we together so it's not for you to begin to calculate or begin to see terrible visions and prophecy that the hell is opening its mouth and people are just falling three turn and three turn and three turn inside are we following there is a strategy in place are we together this is strategy where nations will be won in splits of seconds it didn't take much there was no massive evangelism done for years and months for samaria to be converted to god it just took one man that had the ability to provoke a fire that can leak water and say if god be born seven if god be god seven and at a second he got a complete city there is a strategy in god are we together so the beginning and the end will come the bible says in what in one season they will experience the wave of his glory like the world has never seen before are we together that will give birth to the final in gathering of souls people rushing into the kingdom in their multitude are we following are we together Your neighbor heaven will definitely be populous than hell are we together so back to the message the kai glory we started a series last week on the process and we we're trying to understand how come a man can go with how many of you are in the service all right a man can move through life with divine instruction and divine guidance and yet still end up a failure we saw from his word and the good thing about that chapter was that they keep repeating the same scenario sometimes they felt maybe they didn't have a true word a true instruction or guidance they go back to him again and say tell us your mind are we together like some of the speakers said they need to wait they need to stay are we following and he keeps giving them the instruction and yet they were failing and so we understood that there are certain requirements for a man in the period of what the process it's a period that man must become what strategic and that's another word in the scripture for what kail glory a glory that makes a man a strategist tactical in his operations and we saw how they won the battle right when they changed what their strategy and yet God never gave them such information so we began to look at certain strategy to use during the period of your of your process it's not just to be shouting I will become something in the future no I know there is a fat part you can know it 
But what you do in your process will show up in your product. Are we together? It will show up in what your life becomes. It's not just to be locking yourself alone in a place of prayer, praying, I do that a lot. But there are strategies to put in place. Are we together? And we began to look at them. I want to show us the scripture again. Revelation chapter 3 and from verse 5. You carry me when some carry their God. You feed me when some feed their God. You fight for me when some fight for their God. Oh Jesus, you know they use me play. All right, verse 8, Revelation 3 8. I'll read from the Amplified. Okay, let me read the King James, possibly the basic scripture everybody will have. I know thy works. I have set before thee an open door, and no man can watch shut it. One of the mysteries to open door is your works. It was not a miracle. Favor is provoked. Are we together? Your works. God said I was not blind. I saw the things you were doing. The next statement said, For you have kept my word. You have not what? Denied my name. People were mocking you like you don't know what you are doing. But you kept the faith. You held on to the word. Knowing fully well that the word will make you what it taught. He said, because of that, I now set what? An open door. No man can shut. Are we together? So one of the things you must do in the period of your process is to walk. Get into spiritual and physical activity that will lead to the advancement of your destiny. If you give what you do, what it entails, if it, it will give you what it contains. Are we together? The call of God upon a man, his prophecies, his intentions are solely dependent on God. But the influence, the impact, and the spread of that call is depending on what the man chose to do with it. Are we together? The influence, the spread, the impact is totally dependent on the man. I know that it works. Are we together? Christianity does not strip us of what being responsible. In fact, it brings higher dimensions of responsibility upon us. And I told you what is responsibility. A response to your ability. Why poke us out? In 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 10. He said the grace of God upon me was not in vain. It made me work harder. It means if others will sleep seven hours, I cannot. That they told me there is greatness on my head. It puts me on motion. To get to work. No matter the prophecy. In 1 Timothy 1, 18, 19. Paul told Timothy. He said with the intimations. And the prophetic words I have released ahead of you. Use them to fight. What it means is keep that word in front of you. And be worrying with it to make sure your life is resembling it. He didn't say go and sleep. Are we together? Are we following? He never told them that. And that's where many of us fail. We do nothing with our visions. We do nothing with the prophetic word. We just go to sleep. Are we together? You must be willing to what? Walk. It is by your walkings that provokes supernatural what? Open doors. Are we together? You know, we mix up things in the body of Christ. When the Bible says, do not, we don't, we, 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 we believe in faith and not works. Are we together? It was talking about works 
or righteousness by the result of doings not as if it strips you of responsibility because even Jesus himself was not stripped of any he worked very hard he got to a point he walked that they couldn't eat Mark 6 31 he said we've been walking from morning to night let us find a time to rest Paul said I walk harder I walk what? harder not because he had a, a powerful call than even the other apostles remember that most of the apostles that wrote the scripture the new testament in line with Paul met Jesus face to face Paul only had what? an encounter yet he had much revelations than even them such that even those that saw Jesus fusca the fusca they said the writings of Paul were so difficult to comprehend why? he chose to walk what? harder if you do today what others will not do you will get tomorrow what? are we together? be with put yourself are we following? that leads to my second seventh point Develop yourself. Grow at a faster rate than others. In your field. In your career. Grow at a faster rate than others. Grow at a faster rate than others. Those are the things that brings the open door to be set for you. You know why? God careful of his reputation. So, if he must send you to certain kind of places, he must check how much you will jealously guide his reputation. He knows there are places he will send you to. You disgrace him. Because you have chosen not to improve yourself. There are some kind of contacts he will give to you. There are some kind of people he will bring before you right now. You will fall his hand. Have you not seen Christians that will pray, do vigil, 72 hours in prayer at 120 hours and they are going for interview wearing yellow suits and you are surprised you are shocked you, you, you're wondering now hear me spiritually you stay in heaven but physically on the earth you cannot change a world you know nothing about some of you know absolutely nothing if I ask you right now to list the 36 ministers of the Federation, or whatever number they are, I think they are 40 something now, since Barry chose to give everybody a post. You'll be confused. You are very, very confused. How do you want God to help you? When He brings you right now before a minister and you are asked what kind of question, won't you disgrace heaven? Are we together? If all you know in life are only scriptures, you might not last. At best, you hold high positions in church. Are we together? At best. That's why I told you when you were in, at, at home, immediately you gave your life to Christ. Why did you come to school? The Bible is speaking in 1 John 2.20 that we have an unction from the Holy Ghost to know things. Sit in your room and pray in the Holy Ghost. Let the impactation, what, what, what do you study? Electrical. Just stay in your own fekem feketalatash kalatash. Then they will give you an electrical engineering certificate. So, if you needed to go to school to learn electrical, it means to survive financially, you need to learn financial principles. To make it well in your marriage, you need to learn marital principles. Whatever field of endeavor, gather the principles for its survival. Don't sit down. I study a lot. I study. I try as much as I can on a daily basis to develop myself. To make myself so loaded to be ignored. Too relevant to my generation. Are we together? And you know what I'm doing by that? He's noticing my work. And then he's giving me what? Open doors. It means the degree of the open doors is the degree of notice he has chosen to put on my works. That's why the Bible says we are decoded. 2 Timothy 2.15 Study to show yourself what? Approved unto God. There is a density you must hit in study to get his approval. God can call you foolish. God can use you foolish. He will never send you foolish. Are we together? 
he will never send you foolish he will do something first with your life develop yourself grow at a faster rate than what than others is a strategy in your process like what he said to you if you cheat the process it will show up in the product you become we will know 10 years 20 years to come we will know it will show in what you have become make all the mistakes you can now so that in your manifestation you become flawless don't be scared commit all the errors now are we together and finally for tonight one strategy you must engage in the period of your process after developing yourself after improving yourself after making yourself so relevant i said something to some of my children some few days ago i said if you are poor it reveals your value if you are jobless it reveals your value it shows nobody needs you you can't be so needed and they will ignore you there are people as nigeria is concerned that we can't survive without them are we together we can't have you not seen people that would decide a kind of organization that would say they want to go on strike even the government will be begging them you are jobless only reveals your value these are the ways you should challenge yourself are we together number eight strategy for surviving through the process the things you must do in the period of obscurity when no one name you when you are feel faceless and nameless when it looks like you are not relevant you are not needed never despise anyone i teach you these things i love in life never despise anyone they don't write future on the foreheads of men what papa was sharing with us he said when he was coming up in god in the little village god sent him to a man of god was so great in that period great in the sense of whatever great they can name it then and he went the man of god organized this program home, and he went for the program the monthly program so the man will preach in a very powerful video three hours and by one a.m. when the man is done doing all the things he wants to do he said whoever god shows something to come out you, you get it right and then they begin to come out people give prophetic word right in the video he began to hear the voice of god see some little pictures here and there and he rushed out he said sir i also saw something and the man looked at his shoe the way it is opened he said you go back <laughs> And that man I'm talking about right now is one of the giants in the faith in this country. Are we together? I'm talking of Apostle Johnson Suleiman. I think right now he's building a mobile network in UK and he's starting a, an airline, an airport. It's a few months to come if you know the story. That's my father. And he said, some few years later, this same man that was great then came to him and said, Apostle, please. Can we invite you for a meet? He said, There is no time. The man said, Please. He said, Okay, take my itinerary. Anywhere you see space, look for it for me. The man was searching. One year, two years. <sighs> and he looked at him and said, Do you remember this face? It was that young boy in that meeting. So you remember the meeting? He said, Yes, I used to do those meetings. He said, I was the boy you told, Go back. Never despise anyone. They don't write future on the forehead. You can't predict. Even the Bible is speaking. I think is it First Corinthians four five? Uh, uh, yeah, I think so. He said, "Do not judge anything before it's time." Are we together? Be careful of what you do in the period of your process with the people God brings. Come your way. You might be shocked. You will need them tomorrow in the future. And I told you in the system of God one thing i've observed is that you always hide the helps you need in the hands of those you don't want it from <laughs> you hear what i said he hides the help you need in the hands of those you don't want it from just to make every man relevant be careful don't look down anyone don't look down he was telling us about his wife his wife was doing sales girl in that same house she collecting two thousand naira. 
right now she has a filling station she has a shopping mall she has a transport line and an airport in the queue she was collecting 2,000 they won't shout at her you say you are going to die your boyfriend's church you will not come on time to work life has changed now <laughs> see it has not been given in the hand of any man to conclude the life of any man are we together it is not given to you to predict my end they didn't put that power in your hand since you don't have that power be careful with the way you treat me same also it is not kept in my hand to conclude your destiny so i am the way i what i treat you rise up to your feet be careful be careful be careful be careful very very careful never despise anyone I said you a story in um, Holy Spirit help me Genesis the story of um, Jacob at Bethel the Bible says and suddenly he lay down his head to sleep if you listen to the message of the ministry of destiny help us and he saw the heavens what opened and a ladder was set between the heaven and what the earth and i told you those ladders are men it's called the sulam anointing you need to know your ladders to access the open heaven there must be a need for a ladder are we together that's how it comes so be careful most of the times i said that in the message ministry of destiny helpers you and your destiny helpers can at a season be in the same condition oh did you hear what i said you want to find out? Ask Joseph and the butler what they were both doing inside the prison. <laughs> you can be at the same condition of it. I beg you, I beg you. And then you are looking for something you never attain. You can even be more anointed than them. He had the anointing. He was shining at that point in time. But the butler had the access. My gift is useless without an access. An open door is useless without a ladder. A ladder was set. The Bible said the ladder was set where? On the earth. It is the earth. God set the sulams for you. That will access what? Your open heaven. It's not, you know, I like to teach some things in a literal form that you understand. No way I shout open heaven, open heaven. You think something, a cloud will just be following your head. No! He will set ladders. To and these ladders are what? Amen. Whose form and figure you might not like the time you meet them. I have seen people that have been a blessing to my life. And I tell you under God it is shocking. That's why I speak from an experience. It is shocking that this is the person that will turn out to be a blessing to you. It is shocking. <laughs> I was of my children. Most of the people I ever taught, are they, I, I can, can I find them today? One left corner like that. In fact, those I even invested much on, poured all my life and strength on. But the people I least expect, who did not even look as anointed as I thought, never despise anyone. Life can shock you. Are we together? Life can give you the shocker. Be careful. Treat everyone with dignity and honor and respect because they are humans. For the the fact they are created in the image of God treat them with dignity it takes just a second to change the life of any man in fact a second is too big for God do you know by tomorrow morning something can happen to this brother that will separate two of you again suddenly you cannot meet him anymore the way you find him easy just simple hours the Bible says, and God came and said, let me show these people how I operate, how I do my things. And he sent his prophet and said to the city, a land where they eat their children, by this time tomorrow, that's all it takes God, by this time tomorrow. <laughs> Future is not 50 years to come. It is microseconds away. Not 50 years, microseconds by tomorrow. You might be shocked that the person you are standing with life has changed by a phone call by a text message he might receive by a contact god might just give to him life will separate you into categories 
So don't begin to say, let me do all I do. Um, within a period of 10 years, I will settle back. Really? It's not. It's microseconds. 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 I was sharing with some of my children. One of the dullest guy in my class. I don't use the word dullest. Nobody's actually dull. Not a not too good student will be a better explanation to use. Was in my class, and he wanted to come out for a president NSH Chemical Engineering Society, and I was angry. I said, "Never, it's not possible." They wanted to adjust the condition. I took the case personally, and I think he was in a third class or so. I vowed it would never work, except I'm not in that department. And so I scattered everywhere, pa pa pa. Quite weird, the kind of influence while I was in the campus. So I did everything. He had no way to go. He had to withdraw from the race. And some few years ago, I was told that same guy is a lecturer in Bidapoli. How did I know? Somebody called me and said, Sir, can you help me? Please, one of somebody needs admission like that in Bidapoli. I said, Okay, let me make contact. So I decided to call a friend of mine. He said, Just call this guy now. That's all. That's how I sat down in the chair and was thinking. Where do I start from? That's why I said to you, I speak from an experience. It is not given to you to conclude the life of any man. That's why you cannot tell the future. God can do anything with the life. And I beg you, even for yourself, because one of the things that keeps you in the process is to stay positive at all times. It doesn't take much to change a man's life. One of my daughters, you know her now, Faith Senna, is the mom in not teaching the secondary school and in split of seconds, they just nominated her for commissioner of the state. And that is all. She's bigger now than even the VC of the school. But she was teaching in star school. Star school of the school, of the university. Now she's a commissioner. What the Commissioner of what? Women Affairs. The VC is still VC. I'm sure he cannot near the office easily now. But those who are his, <laughs> his staffs, that I can even query, why didn't you come to work? But right now, maybe only the university security follows him. <laughs> but this one now is, I like those kind of sounds anyway. <laughs> are we together? I'm giving you experiences to make facts that there is nothing in this world. It's nothing. And to be positive. It doesn't take much. It doesn't take much. It just takes the right time and the right season. And you'll be shocked to what God will do with your life. Be positive. He said, for they have kept what? My word. They never denied my name. Because in those seasons of waiting, in those seasons of obscurity, you can be tempted. Tempted extremely. I've been there. Tempted. They kept my name. When you read continuously, he said, Those that despise you, I will send them back to bow to you. Read, I think verse 10 or 11. He said, They despise you, right? <laughs> By the kind of open door we give to you, they will bow to you. Are we together? Are we following? I had those that laughed at me, that felt I didn't know what I was doing. That's why I got angry. I had issues with my parents, had issues with my, my, my family. I come from it to an extent, kind of influential home. And I look like a very stupid person, saying I want to despise so many pleasures <laughs> and come and do church. So, you know, somebody will tell you, you don't know what you are doing. Sometimes they are there when they call me. They will even threaten me now. Say, when are you finishing? Oh, yeah, make sure you are in Lagos, but you it. Say, yes, sir. Are we together? But life has changed. Things are not the same again. The good thing about God is that He never made me rely on any one of them. And I made a vow. I said, I want to do something right now. Nobody contributes a dime to it. Not for my family. One dime should leave anybody's hands. I pay for everything. <laughs> That's what God can do with your life. And I pray for you. 
that what will happen with you in the next few months and years to come will shock those that have despised you. Now lift up your hands and pray this prayer. Now hear me. We want to pray a prayer. It's called the oppression of the spirit of might. Sincerely, if you try and attempt some of the things I do, you can collapse. Are we together? But there is a spirit in God that is called what? The spirit. Isaiah 11. The spirit of what? Might. Where it makes a man walk with the strength of a thousand. Have you guys wondered how Jesus managed his schedules? As he's leaving Galilee, he says he's going to Capernaum. As he's leaving here, he's going to this place. How did he manage such schedule? In one year, Paul discipled the whole of Asia Minor. One year. One year. And they didn't have Rolls Royce. There was no Ferrari. They were walking with feet. One year. It's the oppression of the spirit of might. No wonder in Ephesians 3 and verse 16. When there was trouble, people were becoming weary and weak. Paul made a statement. He said, let's pray like this. That that will strengthen me with might in the inner man. Where people are pitying you and not pitying yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we together? They are wondering and shocking at you. Now, somebody told my my fancy. He said, why are you killing yourself? Because at a point she was even breaking down. You know, she would do this, do that, do this cause, do this cause, do this cause. In fact, even her family was angry. You know, she I wrote her for masters. They refused her to go. Say, are you a young lady? Are you not seeing your body? What will happen? <laughs> I was telling my, telling my children. She became a Melonia at 27. And she's threatening that she will buy me a car. Are you not happy to hear that? See, your testimony can prove to the world that you never wasted your time. That's why I say concentrate on results. Don't be looking for how to impress. No one cares. Are we together? Don't be looking for how to explain yourself. Concentrate on producing results. Failure is an orphan. Success has many friends. Are we together? Failure is an orphan. <laughs> Success has many friends. Are we together? Concentrate on producing results. Lord, release upon me the spirit of might. Release upon me, baptize me, O oh God, with the spirit of might. Can you raise your voice to pray tonight? Igwe, forever you reign. Igwe, sosogi buchimo. Igwe, forever you reign. GC can do it. Oh, Igwe, forever you reign. Oh, Igwe, sosogi buchimo. Oh, Igwe, forever you will. GC can do. Fred Akabo Saya da Brete Commander Akabo Saya Lagadita. Lord, the spirit of might. That will help me to take productive steps to the advancement of my destiny. The spirit of might, oh God. The spirit of might, oh God. Le bako bande de kodayata laya gadagadash. I babare zete kanandi elegedush. Rababila ho saya lagadash. Re babali kobana ne kotaya lagas gami alagadia teleiz. Rada da 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 shata la ge kananda la gados Igo babe shala go paradas Rika parado shele ge de be ge le be ge de do shala bala de ge de be go de bo ro go de bo go lo be go de do sha Rako topo lo In Jesus name we pray We pray this prayer finally I always tell my children to pray 
One of the greatest gifts I've had in life. One of the biggest gifts to my life is God planting the right people around my life. Are we together? People that connect you. People that recommend you. People that holds your hand. Are we together? Is the biggest gift for my destiny. And that's the prayer I want you to pray tonight. Lord, help us of my destiny. Anyone connected to the advancement of my life, wherever they are, connect me to them. Anyone, oh God, that is necessary, essential, required for the advancement of my life, <laughs> Lord, wherever they are, connect me to them by fire. Connect me to them by fire, oh God. Lebako baras kene langa drua velege dayakash. Belaga bo ba le ko barada skena na yuga lompe ya. Rada da 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 ya vrua gege me no shaya ligidish. Riba ba bo rose ke velendo liya baragadas. Aya grada da 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 ya vrua da de 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 zota ladi. Ila do 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 yogo brada da ya la bela la do do sa. Rade kando de lege burdu a lege ko ba me u e ge velendo. Ebenezer <laughs> Now hear me. Since I was born to date, I have never heard that money left heaven to the earth. Are we together? I have never heard that a recommendation letter was dropped from heaven to men. It all came in the midst of this earth. Are we together? That's why we are praying this prayer. It means your wealth is in the hands of someone. <laughs> I'm giving you the kind of prayers I pray. I'll give you the kind of prayers I pray. Your wealth is in the hands of someone. Your next level will take a man that God will use. The next phase of your life. And if you don't meet these people, that is why we give birth to delay. An unnecessary word, struggle. Are we following? And that will lead you to, to, be, to begin to take foolish steps and decisions in life. Because the Bible says, hope deferred makes the heart sick. You will do things that will not resemble Jesus. That will not resemble scripture, you will not believe yourself. Because of delay. Everyone necessary for the advancement of my destiny. Everyone necessary for the advance. I'm teaching you now. Hear me. Hear me. I've had people I have never met them. God sees my heart. I don't know them from nowhere. I don't know who told them about me. How they got my number I won't know. Will just call and say, sir, I came across your messages and I was listening to them. And God said to me, monthly, this is what I must be sending to your account. I have never met them in my life. So I'm teaching you how to live even ministry without title offering. I have never, I don't know some. I don't know them till date. I just know there's somebody like that. So when I say, I just say, thank you, Jesus. Till date. While I was coming to the service, one just wired 20K. I just saw it and said, wow, this is good. Chicken after service. You know when you take chicken, you'll be chill. When you take turkey, you talk well. When you take five alive, you'll be alive. Are we together? 
Uh -huh. Sometimes what even brings disfavor upon your life is your delicate balance that has been lost. The way you look like. <laughs> The announcing the fulfillment of the scripture you will no longer live it is christ that is living <laughs> are we together lord everyone necessary we'll pray that prayer one more time everyone necessary for the advancement of my life and destiny everyone necessary everyone necessary help us of my destiny wherever they are now hear me listen listen the Bible speaking in Exodus chapter 3 God came to Moses and said Moses I have heard the sigh of my people and behold I have come to what deliver them formerly they were not praying but we are living by a prophecy that says after 400 years they will be rescued on the 390th year their deliverer fast forward the process and decided to start the deliverance process and was locked up in the wilderness for 40 years you know what I said now <laughs> locked up there for what for 40 years and that was what extended the time that's why I thought I'm teaching Kail so you don't just feel because they said it then you lose your own power. is it Deuteronomy 2.21 he said go I've given you the land possesses but contend in battle fight to get it from a point of victory that's why Joseph was smart he was smart that's what I do now <laughs> I see people that can help me I say sir it's a privilege to meet you Please, I'm so happy you say no I don't believe in the legs of men continue <laughs> continue what did Joseph say to the butler when you get out of this place I don't plan to stay here for a long time please remember me and now you left school service here you didn't call please if there's any job open here may you allow me oh. some people one of my friends that got me a job with another company by yes sir he's a friend of mine we just knew when we were in the campus he even left here i think transferred back to abu i called him when we finished and said ah joe how far now he said if i'm waiting to for your side now i know these guys have some slots here and there all these family things there i said i beg if anything show may you allow me eh? and after like months he just come here, ah, stand on my guy. He said, man, something just show now. Now my brother for one give up, but because you tell me. You know, it's like, it, it holds the person into ransom. Say, because, now you tell me. Now I say, Kai, my summit your name. That's how the job came. I don't know the place. I, I did not even go again. <laughs> I learned it from Joe, bro, Joseph. He said, remember me when you get out of this place. He will have been in the prison fast now. Oh God, our deliverer. palatiato. Break the prison door and chains. Break the prison. May the Lord rebook foolishness from his body. May there be the release of the baptism of sense. Remember me. Remember me. Are we together? Remember me. Even Jesus said, when you go to preach the gospel search out for those who are noble in that city well to do and stay there i don't know how you read your bible you know this false humility and false spirituality that has entered the body of christ search them out and stay there are we together and god is bringing influential people to you but your village altar that has vowed you know go far gives you a kind of mindset say, i don't need them i don't need them I, I told you the story of my younger brother right he came from from Jigawa, that's where he served. It was foolishness that actually took him there. When he was I told him, Call me when it's time for your this thing, for your NYC. He felt because he read law and was a very good student. The first class in law. Then I said, John, look at the result. You don't even know that you that have first class, the people they sent to the forest. Because <laughs> they know your wisdom can help you survive there. <laughs> they one, they two, they were registering. He did not answer. He refused to call me. The, I just received a phone call. See, brother, I'm trying to fill my form now. I'm just in Jigawa, Kanu, Zambara. <laughs> I say, choose one now. <laughs> what do you want me to do? And he chose one. I didn't even ask him. When it came out, he saw Jigawa. I was surprised where Jigawa is located in the country. He said, because he felt Jigawa is the closer north. He didn't know. 
the end of Nigeria, a border country. They posted him to the Jigawa State. He was serving, you know, very confident at least. You can't post a lawyer to a school. <laughs> they sent him to a school. He called me to live here. That boy just passed and greeted me and said, Uncle, Auntie not calling you. <laughs> He's speaking to a lawyer. <laughs> I know I wanted him to feel the pain. If there was no law that is our schoolmaster, I won't appreciate grace. So I wanted to act like God. Let him feel the So when salvation comes, he will, he will receive it. Let him attempt first by the law. <laughs> and see how it works. <laughs> see, that is the norm, right? They should post you direct. So when he couldn't go, I make some contacts and call a friend there. So they withdrew him out of the school and sent him to a magistrate court. And he served there. When he came back again, I, I pray he listens to my message, he will laugh. Now I'm using him as a sermon. <laughs> When he came back, I was at home that period. He came home and he sat down. Every morning he would pray, Shina Fokotaya, afternoon. I said, Victor, won't you make a call? Have some people you know. I said, Call my, my uncle, he's in here, but he's a son. We have, I said, Call them. He said, No, 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 no. I don't believe in the legs of men. Yoruba used to say one thing, Ejia. It means you will chop suffering. <laughs> you will chop suffering. I had to carry so many of my messages and give him to listen. When he was done listening to them, he now carried a phone call and called one of our family friends. He said, okay, okay, don't worry. Give me 24 hours. In 24 hours, he was in Lagos. That's where he's pursuing his career right now, working. Remember me when you get out of here. Are we learning anything now? Lord, whoever is necessary. What I'm saying is the Bible says he that wants friends must first show himself what? Friendly. You render a hand of fellowship. Render a hand of fellowship. Don't let your Christianity confuse you. Don't let it. Are we together? What was Jesus doing with Joseph of Arithma, the rich man? What was he doing with him? He knew that Peter cannot afford a burial site. So he was he was arranging himself. He knew. He knew that if he had not gotten that kind of man, scripture would never be fulfilled. His body will just rot in the find one place and throw him. Peter was alive, but could he assess the body? A man that was not his cousin or even disciple went there and said, I need a body now. And Pilate said, Ah, Joe, Joe, please. They gave him a body of somebody that's not related to him. Influence. Influence. He knew he needed. See, there is a place for Peter. There is a place for Joseph of Arimathea. Know the places of men in your life. Know the places of men. There are people I have. If I enter into a city, they are not serious children. Or they are my children, but they are not serious. They, I've tried my best. You know that time that even <laughs> I've tried. They've refused to change. But once I say I am in that city, the whole town we know I came. That's their. They have the ability to. Have, but even more serious than the men of God. Yes, Papa, you are around. I'm in a retreat. <laughs> are we together? So I'm in a retreat. I went to Abuja one time. Some of the spiritual brethren, they were calling them. Papa is in town. I say, okay, we are coming. They don't come anywhere. Is the unserious one that was going to say, Papa, take like your TP. You know, every man has a place in your life. And hear me, like I said in the message of Ministry of Destiny Epas, your helper might even be a Muslim. When it comes to the issue of the Sulam anointing, it has nothing to do with religion or tribe. It has nothing to do with it. When it comes to the oppression of the Sulam connecting you to your what? Open heavens. It has nothing to do with your tribe. You know why? God only uses what is available to him. That's why even after making the donkey spoke, he never ordained the donkey as a prophet. He just used it as a vessel. So don't say, the donkey must have a call if I believe his word. <laughs> Are we together? Lord, whoever is necessary for the advancement of my life and destiny, wherever they are, connect me to them by fire. Lord, connect me to them by fire. Touch their hearts, oh God. Turn their hearts towards me. Turn their hearts towards my direction. 
Say at the book of Mena Hosaya Lagadieta, Iba Baros Gemendo Blia Covade, Ratata Sataya Gadas, Lababa de Cobede de Melega Bomba, Racoporo de Golobogo de Bogolado, Shelega de Begele Begede Begele do Shalamande, get the Bogodobo to do Yeba Baba 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 Everything becomes possible when you own my hand. Everything becomes possible when you own my hand. Everything becomes possible when you own my hand. Everything, Everything becomes, becomes possible, possible when you hold my hands. Everything, Everything becomes possible. Now listen, can you afford to pray one more prayers? Can you afford that? All right. When the devil wants to scatter the life of a man, basically, if he can't touch your gift, touch your anointing, touch anything about you, he just pour upon you the spirit of rejection. That's why in Luke 52, the Bible says, and Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature and found favor. Even in the pit, I told you, the people that came to buy Joseph, not all of them were rich men, but was the rich one that located him. They just liked that guy. He went to Potiphar's house again. They still just like him. He met people there, yet they preferred him. Are we together? He came again, left to the prison. They still preferred him. It's a mystery. I taught my children on that. Psalm 5 and verse 12. He said, I will pass my chosen one with favor as with a shield. And I asked, what does a shield do? It stands as what? A defense system for you. So what does it mean? You apply for a job. Others are qualified, you are not. Yet they favor shielded you against your weakness. When people like you, they will make excuses for your downfall, for your shortcoming. They will make excuses and say, hey, let's just pick him. Are we together? That's the last prayer we are praying for tonight. Lord, release upon my life the oil of your favor and the spirit of likability. I prayed this prayer for the past 16 years. Release upon you. Come meet me and not like me. Release upon my life the oil of your favor and the spirit of likability. Raise your voice and pray tonight. Let it be evident upon my life. Let it be evident upon all I do. The oil of your favor and the spirit of likability. The oil of your favor and the spirit of likability. The oil of your favor and the spirit of likability. The oil of your favor and the spirit of likability. Ye baba raga tas haya laga tobaya ina brida laga baya da brila da gote ya galaga rada de de koma ni koma ya de alos bria do kambele kubaya ta the oil of your favor and the spirit of likability the oil of your favor and the spirit of likability in Jesus name we pray see even with God once favor rests upon you he gives you preference he said I choose to have mercy I'll have mercy my choice that's why even Jesus had favor with him my choice when it rests upon your life that's what such a man out are we together can we fail us to really pray some more like I will have wanted us to do but I leave you with this responsibility as you leave the meeting tonight your, your job your, your prayer doesn't end here are we together so bring it to an awareness that you go do some work yourself pray this prayer every day the oil of your favor and the spirit 
the ability the spirit wherever you end you become attractive people love you and they'll be willing to do anything for you are we together anything anything for you i pray for you lift up your hands lord i pray for your people tonight may the oil of god's favor and the spirit of likability rest upon your life and all you do in the name of jesus i pray anyone connected to the advancement of your life anyone connected to the advancement of your destiny may god connect you to them right now in the name of jesus in your journey of life in your destiny path i pray may you not lack helpers of destiny may your men not be few i prophesy may you not lack helpers of destiny in the name of jesus i pray for you scripture says in psalm 90 verse 14 that you will satisfy us oh god early with thy mercy and not when we are old i declare and i declare may you not know what is called delay or struggles in life i prophesy speed i prophesy supernatural ease i prophesy rest on every side rest on every side may the lines fall for you in pleasant places in the name of jesus just wave your hands and thank him give him praise for tonight thank him lord we bless you tonight we give you praise we worship you the lord bless and keep you the lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you the lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and grant you his peace you will never be stranded you will never know shame you will never know defeat you will never know struggles you will always know what to do your hands will not know dryness you will not lack divine inspiration in the name of jesus christ thank you our father for tonight and under god we call it done in jesus name we'll pray